Hee <laughs> hee, hello Ocean, welcome. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a test here. I just, like, literally just added something. I'm gonna test it out, but I do believe stickers now work on the front page. So let me slap. Yeah, let's see. Did that do it? It did! Hey, let's go. So yeah, little, uh, little Zenko's now down there, which is funny, there's already an art piece up front in the top left, so it almost seems seamless right here. But that is the sticker that was added, as opposed to the art piece in the top left. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I added the uh, stickers to the starting page, the ending page, and the BRB page. So even when I'm gone, or if I'm starting, or if I'm ending, people can add stickies now. It's probably something I should have done a while back. That being said, I'm glad I did it. And I almost forgot to th uh, do the uh, throwing system, which thankfully we're not on the live page yet. So let me go ahead and get that real quick. Do, 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 do. I always forget this program. I don't know why. I, I run like a million programs. This is like the one I always forget about. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to go to... If I can find it. Uh, buttons. Hello, Mr. Silver. Welcome. Where the frick is my thing? Oh, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and reject the ring. I am so sorry I wasn't on the right page. Ow. I mean, it works when I reject it. So that's a freebie right there if you want that. <laughs> but yeah, you got your points back. My bad. How am I always reminding you of it? Somehow, some way. I forget that the rejecting of that technically knocks me in the next week. So <laughs> there you go. Um, in terms of actual models that we're going to be using today, uh, I figured it'd be nice to have mostly my regular Sonic models along with the Zack model. Being Zack kind of like Sega, all-star, if that makes any sense. So we've got the Zack model on hand. We've got Base Sonic, Super Sonic, Hyper Sonic, and Fancy Gamer Sonic, which I'm already Fancy Gamer for those who don't know. So uh, that's going to be my tire starting out today. And yeah, today's plans are going to be playing, uh, basically we're gonna go through like the Grand Prix Cups. I may show off a couple of the, um, what's it called, mission modes. Apparently I've already cleared off the mission modes. I did this type of stream about almost two years ago, come to think of it, a little over, a little under two years ago. And uh, this will be my second take. I did this originally for YouTube as a live stream. And then I also did it as a uh, side series that I did way back when. Uh, for those who recall that. So I've covered this game twice. This will be my third time covering it. No, I will not be covering this game a lot per se. I think the next time, if I ever go to cover this, I'm gonna play the PC version and we're gonna play with friends. I think that'll be a fun take. And then obviously Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed is something I'm gonna be looking into doing again. Uh, technically speaking, Matthew is doing that on his end with the story mode kind of thing. So we'll probably go back to doing that with him one of these days. So that'll be fun. Hey, Shadow Breaks and welcome. You're thinking about getting back into SMBX? Oh, heck yeah. You awesome people, you're awesome. You're all awesome. You two are awesome. All right, let's go ahead and hop on over to the live page. I am on my Xbox 360, which I have not gotten out in a hot minute. And um, I have to copy the game in. Even if you see my gamer tag on here, it's not the gamer tag I normally use. The oh God, this is a... Uh, this is a Xbox Live account I use for just like new achievements and whatnot. I already have the All-Star Racing Transform ones, I think. Sandra, hello, welcome. All right, before the next song plays, which, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let that keep going. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get going. I've been really wanting to do a Sonic 06, oh frick, Sonic 06 playthrough as well. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna put my Xbox 360 away after this. I think I'm gonna keep it down below in, with my other consoles. I don't have all my consoles on hand. I have to unplug some of them. I usually have like the PS5, Series X, Wii, uh, PS, apparently my PS3 is over here and I'm not used that in a hot minute. But I've got my 360 over here is, you know, long story short, I haven't had it plugged in in a while. Uh, you can't play this on the modern day Xboxes, sadly. A game like this and Sega Superstars Tennis, and uh, even Sonic 06, not playable. I you can play like Sonic Unleashed, Sonic the Fighters, but a couple Sonic games are still out of reach with the Series X or Series S and Xbox One. So I had to scrounge out my Xbox 360. It's Amigo, I love Amigo. I'm so happy he's getting another game. I'm definitely gonna be buying that day one. 
Probably won't stream it just because it's got copyrighted music, I'm sure. That being said, uh, maybe we'll play it in the uh, Discord server. That sounds fun. Got our virtual fighter characters here. Honestly, this was what, 2009? This looks really good. This like these this animation ages so freaking well, and I love it. Go ahead and bring up the chat. I have the chat thing on me. There we go. That's right. I think this is like one of the last games we had. Uh, I almost said Roger Craig Smith. One of the last games we had Jason Griffith voice Sonic. It's just reused voice clips, but this is actually one of his last technical performances. Once again, it's just reused audio, but it's one of the last Griffith uh, Sonic games. I remember because it was like this game came out, and then not too long after it was like Sonic Colors, and I'm like, oh wow, the transition. So it, it, it got different real quick. This is like the end of the four kids era. Sonic and, and Sega, Sega All-Stars Racing. Let's go. You forgot the Banjo and Kazooie logo. Nah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, one of the big reasons why I particularly love this version of the game is because it has my favorite Baron Bird duo, Banjo and Kazooie. I do have them unlocked already. Uh, I do believe if you also go to, I want to say the shopping. Let me see how much Sega models I have. So I have 1,615 Sega Miles. Last time I played this a little under two years ago, I did not unlock the following here. I'm sure I can get this today by playing like the uh, Grand Prix and whatnot. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to unlock those. So I almost deleted my file just to start refreshing again, but I figured, you know what, let's do a continuation. I told myself I would, and uh, we're back. So this will be a fresh new take on uh, what I have to say about this game. And I'm, God knows I'm gonna repeat a lot of things I said in my original stream. That being said, I hope I can give you guys a nice, refreshing, uh, thing of commentary today. So, I'm gonna open the door to friends, by the way. Uh, the door is not open yet. I kinda wanna put my two cents out there first. And then as we, uh, continue to stream, uh, maybe I'll open up a Discord room where some friends can join me. And we can talk about Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. And probably some other random shenanigans. So sit back, relax. I got you. It's time for a fun time. Also, super sorry about the delays on this stream. I, I said this is gonna be a morning stream on my schedule. And for the life of me, I don't detail what morning means. Uh, morning is going to be any time between 10 a.m. my time to like maybe 2 p.m. I know technically that's afternoon at that point, uh, but it is now 3.30. So I'm a little little after morning already. But that being said, um, here we are. Seaside, Seaside Hill. Hill. I feel like that's incredibly loud. That's very, very loud. I think that's a good volume. I don't know if I need to change it, but let me know if, if that's fine and we'll get going. I can handle this myself. I love Jason Griffith. I feel like... Oh, no, that's the wrong button. I'm thinking of a different game. Um, I feel like the Griffith era was an era... I got, like, I loved it, but, like, there was a part of me that was like, don't look back too much. Like, honestly, it was simpler times. I was, like, just at that prime age of, like, young teenager going into almost, almost adulthood. Not quite. And, I don't know, it was just, like, it was simpler times. You know, you had more... Well, first of all, you had more time on your hands when you were me. Uh, you could play so many video games. When this game came out, I played it so much. I played it for so long. I was, for those who don't know, Banjo and Kazooie being my favorite, like one of my favorite franchises of all time, it's in my top three. If you look on my tie for my VTuber model, I've got the Sonic Ring, the Mario Mushroom, the Jiggy from Banjo, and Pac-Man there. So. It was a big deal for me to see my favorite hero, Sonic, teaming up and racing up against Banjo and Kazooie, even though it's just a crossover game and like a little bit of an advertisement, if you will. Uh, Rareware actually threw their hat in the ring. They're the only non-Sega character in this game, but you have no idea how, how happy I was when that happened, because it had never happened before up to that point. Like, at that point, we had Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, which is my favorite thing ever. But then when Banjo Kazooie came in, you know, that's a bolt that just happened. So in my world at that point, it was like, oh, you know, Banjo and Kazooie are relevant. They had nuts and bolts. It's not quite the Banjo I used to know, but you know, they're alive. And that beyond made me happy to see them together. I was like, yeah, future of Banjo. I hope they have more things together. And then Banjo has been off the map since then, outside of Smash Bros, which was like a big deal for me as well. Um, which also involved Pac-Man, so that, you know, in the tie that I'm wearing right now is my four favorite franchises are in Smash Bros, which is awesome. Um, I'm sure a lot of people can say that about a lot of their other favorite characters, but yeah. 
So, that was a big deal for me back then. So when I knew this game was coming out, I'll never forget the morning where it was me, my dad, my brother. We went out to go get a copy of this game. And it wasn't super expensive. I don't think it was like a AAA title, I think. Um, may have been like $50 or 40 something like that. Ah! Uh, but yeah, I remember like going to the mall. GameStop wasn't open. So I was like, why is GameStop not open? So I went over to like, I think it was an FYE store. I just got third. That is BS. <laughs> What have I done? I'll try better, I swear. Um, yeah, I remember going to like the mall, went to an FYE store when they sold games at that point, and they had a copy of Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing ready to go. The guys stocked it out, thank goodness, grabbed it, went home, and played the heck out of this game. Uh, and I also remember, I don't know if anyone remembers this time era, but like that was around the time Taco Bell Breakfast was brand new. So I just remember like getting a thing of like Cinnabon icing, like little bites. I just, I just remember the whole morning, and I remember that whole day. And I don't know how. I, this game was so special to me when it came out. So I remember these things that are uh, kind of small, but I don't know. They meant a lot to me. It was like I went out with my my dad, my brother. So it was like the dudes going out to grab these, uh, grab this cool new breakfast thing at Taco Bell, and then we went to go get this game. And it was it was a whole time. I don't know. It's the simple things in life. When you get older, you appreciate stuff like that. Stardust Nebula, welcome. Sorry that I kind of just went off there and I didn't say hello at the beginning. I had a lot to say about this game. Yeah, um, you know, so up to this point, we have Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. We have uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, which had a lot more than just Sega All-Stars, hence why they dropped Sega out of the title, even though it had a lot of Sega All-Stars. And um, then we had Team Sonic Racing. If I had to pick an order as to which games I like the most, I'm going to say Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed is the best. I'm going to honestly say this next. And then I'm going to say Team Sonic Racing. Team Sonic Racing was fun. And, you know, it's full of nothing but Sonic characters. But I feel like it didn't it didn't feel complete. And it had issues on day one. And they didn't really fix a whole lot as time went on. Like, their servers were just not great at the beginning. So that was terrible at launch. Uh, no, no DLC, which they really should have done. And, I mean, like, it was good, though. I like all three games. That being said, like, I just feel like when it boils down to preference, I'm giving it to All-Stars Racing Transform then Sega All-Stars Racing, and then Team Sonic Racing. And you'd probably think, like, well, someone like me would pick this over uh, All-Stars Racing Transform just from the Banjo-Kazooie edition alone. This is not true. Uh, as much as I love the set of characters, All-Stars Racing Transform is just the better game. And I have to be I have to be honest and admit that. Like, characters are one thing, but, you know, the gameplay itself is another, and the gameplay on the sequel of this is so much better. So, I'm not going to be biased. I'm not going to be completely biased. In terms of characters, this is where I'm at. I love this. Only thing I don't like about this game is that Knights is not playable. Knights almost didn't make it in at all. They were shoehorned in as the flag holder. But Oh, we did get first. Sweet. But yeah, no, they they didn't they were not gonna have knights in this game originally. Which is blasphemy. That's like one of the biggest Sega franchises, honestly, in my opinion. Uh but you were gonna have like the Bonanza Bros, which I love them. Just saying. Hello, Ref or Retro Wolfrax. Welcome. And Flame Crystal and Project Hedgehog. Welcome, welcome. Yippo. I love this game because of their music. My favorite is Into the Wind by Crash 40. Heck yeah, dude. I love Crash 40. Uh, I'm Oh, God. I've been lucky enough to see a couple of performances from uh, Crash 40 Live, and they are a treat. Crash 40 is probably one of my favorite bands ever. I don't care what anybody says. I should set up my 316 play Transformed again. That was one of my favorite games of my teen years. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. I freaking love All-Stars Racing Transformed. I, I want to do a stream of All-Stars someday. I'm going to try to do like a, maybe a, a multiplayer thing with friends and get everyone in on it. Matthew had All-Stars Racing Transformed on his uh, channel as a series. We just haven't found a time to get back to it. But maybe maybe I'll have to like tell him, like, hey, would you like to like, pick that up off the ground again? Because uh, we had a lot of fun with that. He's just... Like, him and me and everybody else, we have so many ideas and things we want to stream that sometimes it's hard to get back to things that you drop for a sec. I've dropped a lot of things. Um, that's going to be a series that still keeps going. Don't get me wrong. Um, granted, that's me saying that. You'll, you know, Matthew, it's his decision at day's end. But uh, regardless, I think we're going to get back to that one of these days, and then I'd like to uh, stream All-Stars Racing Transformed if possible. Because that game is so good. It's got Wreck-It Ralph. It's got, uh, it's got Danica Patrick. 
It's got Football Manager. It's got all these characters that are just amazing. The PC version's got Team Fortress 2, which is actually my favorite first-person shooter of all time, so that's a big deal. Which, it really is a big deal. Uh, Team Fortress 2 is my favorite first-person shooter game ever. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So that got into all sorts of things transformed. And then this game uh, got me Banjo and Kazooie. So I got two of my favorite franchises involved with Sonic in a racing format, which I think is the coolest thing ever. So, and it, it always boiled down to this, which is probably another reason why Team Sonic Racing let me down a little bit. Once again, I love that game. It's good. Well, okay, maybe not love. I like that game. But it's not nearly as good as the first two, in my opinion. I feel like the, this game right here that I'm playing right now is a lot more arcade-like. Which, you know, call it what you will, it's a bit more primitive, but I kind of like that. Where Team Sonic Racing, it's physics and other such is a higher quality, but like, I don't know, man. Like, it came out at a time where Crash Team Racing Nitro Field came out. That was just terrible, terrible timing. Because Crash Bandicoot totally ruled the day with theirs. So. Oh my god. Eggman came in and wrecked us. Hang on here. Shadow's in the lead, which is not good. If Shadow wins this, it's going to be an uphill battle trying to uh, win this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep boosting. Keep boosting. Keep boosting. I hope I get some missiles. It's not going to be nearly what I need. we we'll have to throw that backwards to secure anybody from freaking me over. Oh, this is going to be a tight race, everybody. Give me just a second. I'll read some comments here in a sec. I need to win. I need to win. Okay, Shadow went that way, which that makes this incredibly risky. There we go. That's a nice sharp turn. Throw the rocket! Throw the rocket! No! Ah, uh, I tried. Missed him by about half a second. That sucks. Okay, what lead do you have? 24? So we need Shadow to at least come in third place. And me to come in first place to ensure any kind of victory. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I'm going to try. We are at Samba de Amigo, Carnival Town, Sunshine Tour. So maybe luck will be on my side on one of my favorite courses. I love this course. Let's see. PS3 version of All Stars Racing. I also had the PS3 version when it came out. Um, I no longer have that copy, but I do have a Steam copy. But when this game came, or when that game came out, I had the PS3 copy as well. It's a good copy. A lot of people I knew had the Wii U version, which is surprising. Both Sega racing games were uh, were how I discovered a lot of Sega other games that weren't Fantasy Star Sonic and Crazy Taxi. Heck yeah. Honestly, games like this really get you more interested in the other franchises, which is why I'm surprised they don't do this kind of thing more often because it's such a crossover. And it's all through Sega practically, unless you get in some like third parties that are fun. Once again, it's, it's like a, almost like a big advertisement game while just having like a cool crossover. It's like, why would you not want to do that? And yeah, here we are, like, they kind of gave us the Team Sonic Racing, focusing on just the Sonic franchise, which Sonic as a franchise is big, yeah. But I don't know. I, I would have stayed the All-Stars Racing route, made it like a big crossover with Sonic. In my opinion, that worked so much better. Like, compare the Team Sonic Racing sales with Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. I'm curious which one did better. I'm assuming the second game. Eggman, I swear to God, you're not getting by me. I'm gonna lay those down real quick. I think I just gave him the freaking lead. Kind of slow down here a bit. There we go. I don't know if that'll be of worth. They're awfully close, though. I really need to, like, beat them up right now. They're a little too close for my comfort. Yeah, because we're hitting up lap three, and it's, it's looking kind of tight back there. Hang on, let me see if I can slow down and hit Shadow. There we go. Specifically hit Shadow. I'm really hoping that's the that's the the boost I can get in. Big's in the lead, which is fine for a second, as long as I don't hit his cone. 
He's kind of, ooh, spicy meatball. That did unfortunately knock Amy back, which means I need to be big ASAP, which is also kind of a problem because I don't want to hurt him. No, that's big. That's fine. Oh, Shadow's taking the lead, dude. No, Shadow, I need you to freaking lose. No! Did I do it? Who who got second? Yes! I got big to go in second. Oh, please, Lord, let me have this. Let me go. Yes, I've won. Oh, my God. That was risky business there. I knocked big in the next week and not shadow. That was so bad. That was so bad. I, I hit him so bad. That wasn't supposed to be it, man. Oh, I did it, though. GG, congratulations. Thank you. That is clutch. I think because we tied points wise, it boils down to time. So that was that was incredibly close. Holy frick. One day we should do a Team Sonic, or sorry, Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. Shame I only have the Switch version. I feel like I might get the Switch version one of these days because I had it on play. No, I'm sorry, I had my own Xbox, uh, which was a hot take back then. I don't know why I went that route, but anyways. Uh, I'll probably get a version that most people have and then we can do like a whole like stream of it or something like that Get people in on the uh, the matches Although I don't know how many people would be down for team crash team racing nowadays But I know I think Matthew owns the switch copy So I'll probably get a switch copy and if anybody else gets in on it Maybe we can do it up and whatnot All right, so that was the first cup. Let me go ahead and switch to my personal favorite Banjo and Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie. they should call it the Sonic team cup. That would have been cool. I freaking love the name Sonic Team. It's a good logo. Ooh, hey, Miles, welcome. Yeah, a Crash Team Racing uh, session would be fun. I just gotta get enough people for it. It'd just be kind of weird if it was like four of us or something. <laughs> Try to like really do it up. So like, we'll see. I'll see if I can get a couple more uh, more people to join in on a thing like that. Maybe that idea can come off the ground. I know the Crash Rumble game is coming out eventually, so that'll be fun. You can use your Xbox or Xbox avatar in the game. I didn't know that. It's something I kind of forget about, if I'm being honest. And uh, this profile doesn't necessarily have my proper. Um, I love banjo. Uh, it doesn't have my proper Xbox Live gamer tag, so or like even avatar. I tried signing into it today, but apparently I can't remember the password. I'm signed in on my Series X, but not on my 360. I went ahead and said frick it. I don't care. But here we are, we are Banjo and Kazooie, we're in a vehicle that has like two, I would say medium sized uh, fuel tanks. Got the Banjo license plate. It's very, very off the hot tails of nuts and bolts. And I love it. I'm one of those people that I do like Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Uh, it is, in my opinion, a good game of days and it's, it's flawed to a degree, but it's really silly and really fun. Um, definitely not the best Banjo sequel, but a fun time nonetheless. I highly recommend trying it out if you if you ever play Banjo Kazooie or Tui. Uh, it's got a lot of like character uh, vehicle or not character but like cr uh, cart creation and like you know vehicle creation, flying, driving boats, that kind of thing. So I personally recommend you know giving it a try. Uh, I mean, heck, even The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom is doing a thing in the game where it's so similar to two nuts and bolts that Rareware themselves went out and made a, a very discreet tweet basically implying like, hey, nuts and bolts did it first. So when something like The Legend of Zelda is kind of pulling in a nuts and bolts thing, I think that says something. Now, were they inspired? We can't confirm that. Although I think it'd be really funny to think the Zelda director looked into like Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts and took reference. I just think that'd be really funny. You know? Why is this game so, so baller? Because it's Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, and it has Banjo and Kazooie. It's gotta be good. I can, I can sit here and tell you that there is not a single game out there that has Sonic and Banjo together, and it sucks. We have this, and we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They're both good games. They're the same picture to me. This game brings me to my heavenly spot. This is one of my favorite songs from the game. Ooh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this being like Jet Set Radio, very catchy music. Uh, I personally really like the Jet Set song that goes, I'm trying to get some sleep. And I think it's called, like, Let Mom Sleep or something. That's one of my personal favorite uh, 
songs from this game. I mean, it's from Jet Set Radio, but you know what I mean. I ain't gonna lie, as much as I love this game, uh, you can tell where certain things are very, like, bad with shadows. Um, like, I don't know if I can get an example here, like, I don't know if I can pause it at just the right time. Some of it looks kind of square on the shadows. I'll have to try to get you a good example. Uh, once again, this is 2009, so I'm not, I'm gonna try not to dog on it too much. Uh, I know that it's got, a um, terrible screen tearing on the PC version. I have the PC version, but for some reason, the screen tears, and it, it looks bad-ish. I mean, I can love it personally, but, uh, I don't know, I'm just kind of, kind of, uh, spoiled by today's standards, I suppose. Let Mom Sleep, No Sleep Remix. Yeah, that's the one. I'm no Jet Set Radio Pro, but I knew that. At least I knew some of that to to a degree. I've got a little bit of my knowledge. One of these days, we're going to do a, a Jet Set Radio stream, which was in the Zack trailer I did last year. So I got to keep my word, right? I got to play the games that were in the trailer, at least at some point. Um, which, by the way, for those who don't know, uh, I've been very hard at work getting some things compiled for my two-year anniversary for VTubing, which will be, I believe, I want to say it was March 26th. 7th or 8th. It was one of those days. So it's gonna be end of March. And uh, I want to say it's the 28th, but yeah. March. End of March. Um, I've got a bunch of, like, trailers I've been working on. There's gonna be some announcements. There's VTuber model stuff involved. There's costumes. There's there's quite a few things that you're gonna be very surprised to see. Very, very exciting. And uh, a couple of them the community can get in on, so that's very exciting as well. And I've just been compiling it, so you guys are in for a treat. My budget for this year is so much freaking bigger, and it's crazy. It's kind of insane. But I've been getting a lot of that ready. I'd say it's maybe, like... I'd say, in terms of progress of how much I'm trying to get ready, I'm going to say maybe 60% of it's done. 50, 60%. It depends on my definition of how much is done, but still. There's a lot still needing to be done. But that being said, it's like... I'm already over the moon for what I got going, and yet, we're gonna have so much more here. Oh, which, by the way, I just realized I'm in the, the wrong costume for this particular level. Let me let me do a quick thing, real quick. I think it's this. There we go. This is the proper costume we need for Curran, or Curian Mansion. I gotta be the Boogeyman. Just for this particular course. And then we'll go back. 2009, okay, I'm good. My vision went white, but I'm back. <laughs> yeah, it's been, oh my god, what, 14 years? If, th if this says anything, I was 13 when I got this game. Uh, but I turned 14 that year, and it'd be 20th this year, so it was half my life ago this game came out. That is freaking bonkers, dude. I can't believe that. Backwards? Well, you can still drive backwards, it's just your odds of winning are gonna be big. I do freaking love House of the Dead. We got a House of the Dead remake not long ago, and I'm waiting for House of the Dead remake 2. Or 2 remake, I should say. Mark my words, everybody. We'll get House of the Dead 2 remake. It will happen. Keep your eyes peeled. If you're gonna remake 1, you're gonna remake 2. 2 is so much better. It could use a remake, to be fair. Well, I say this as the original said that pretty well. I love Sega arcade games like that. Ooh, Shadow is very close. Don't hit me with that. Did you just hit yourself? Poor Shadow. There are winners, people. <laughs> there are winners, but there are also losers. The winner song of Ted Set Radio song is my birthday er, is birthday cake. Interesting. I'll listen to the Jet Set soundtrack one of these days. I think getting all AAA ranks and this one is the trickiest thing I've experienced. Yeah, that's fair. It is uh it's not the easiest thing in the world. I have AAA on everything, I think. Not for the House of the Dead stage. Yeah, I love the House of the Dead stage. Have you ever played Jet Set Radio? So on a technicality, I have, but I've probably played like the first maybe 15, 20 minutes, and I've never played anything beyond that. So mo it'll be mostly a blind playthrough when I go to play that, which is fun, because it's, you know, a Dreamcast game of its era. So that'll be fun. That'll be a cool thing to do one of these days. All right, we're going to uh, Final Fortress Turbine Loop. And we'll go back to this. <laughs> Just for the occasion, right? The House of the Dead tracks without the blood go figure. Yeah, that figures, right? Ooh, a swap to Supersonic. Sure. First, let me put on my, my regular threads, and then we'll crank it up a notch. 
Yeah! That's better. I personally like Final Fortress. It's got a good shortcut. Well, maybe I'm thinking of a different course. Two, one, go! Man, I had a, <laughs> a terrible start. I've been bypassed by like four people already. Thank you for the redeem, by the way. I love it when I get the uh, the model redeems. Gives me an excuse to power up and whatnot, or change look. Here we go. Oh, we're speeding now. Yep, up. Do a flip. Let's go. Also, I turned off one of the options, which was catch up mode. I don't know if that's like the game lets me catch up or if that lets like the NPCs, or not NPCs, uh, the CPUs catch up. Uh, but they are racing pretty well. But that's probably just like more so the mode. It's more so the mode kind of just doing its thing. I don't really know how much all I changed. But hopefully we, we win most of these. I barely won that last cup. I also don't know if I own the Metal Sonic DLC on here. I want to say probably not. Although I'm sure it's available to buy still. Given it's Xbox Live Arcade. So if I don't own it, I'll have to buy it again one of these days. Unfortunately, I've had to trade Xboxes in the past and forgot some of my logins. That and uh, me and my brother like shared stuff back then, so God knows what we had that on. Do the frame rate dips when you're in here. It's great. Go ahead and pick up some of those robots. The uh, the big egg pawns, or whatever you want to call them. Got quite a lead, but Amigo and Amy are still quite back there. If they're not too far away. Yeah, they're not too far away. I thought you said catch up. I do like ketchup, to be fair. I've also never been a mustard person. Very, very ketchup household for me. I'm gonna freaking hit something at this rate. Also, Sonic went supersonic. I gotta watch out. He's speeding. He's speeding up. Go, Banjo, go! Never turn back. Never turn that way. It's just cool to play a video game as Banjo and Kazooie. And hear like Sonic music. Like, I'm I'm sold right there. This isn't my favorite banjo look at being nuts and bolts. But like, I still love it. And if and if that's not good enough for me, we can go to Smash Bros. Because that's got the definitive banjo and Kazooie look there. So that's fun. Got my shield up now. Let's go, baby. That is a victory. Imagine if we got Typing of the Dead remake. Dude, I would buy Typing of the Dead remake. I love Typing of the Dead. That's such a fun game. So you wanna know the funniest thing I've been to that some wait, I've been to that someone does with ketchup. Ooh, what's that? I'm curious. Imagine Nintendo Direct starting with a trailer banjo 3. I would die. I would die. So fun little fact about me. Um one time at work a good couple months back, I told my manager, I said, because we were talking video games and they played Smash Bros. and then they know of Banjo and Kazooie. This is one of my managers. Anyways, I had brought up, you know, if they ever do a Banjo 3, that I'm going to take a good couple days off from work, and I will not be back for a couple days. And if for some reason you guys don't let me take off work, I will quit. I told them that. Everybody laughed, though, because it was funny. But I told them, I said, if you don't let me take off work, I will quit. I'm going to play that game, and you're not stopping me. Nothing will stop me from playing that game. I feel like, realistically, I wouldn't quit. But I told them I would. You will give me that day off. I will fake being sick. I don't care what I gotta do. I am playing that game. Also very terrible at starting boost here. People don't understand how badly I want a Banjo 3. Like I can act like depending on how emotional I am in a week, and if it was like announced, I could see myself crying for real. I don't cry very often, especially in front of people. But I would cry. Either that or I'd be like, if I'm not, if I don't cry, my hype levels will be absolutely through the roof. Like the biggest you've ever seen in my life. Or in your life. It'll be the biggest thing you'll ever see. I'll be like I'll be like the React you'll see on the internet. There's big YouTubers out there. I will be the React. Mark my words. I am playing very crappy on this course. Hang on, let me do some better turns here. There we go. It's a complete sharp turn right there, and then you turn left. I like the Super Monkey Ball stage, but if you don't like drifting and you don't like turns, you would hate this course. It is so much drifting. Which, honestly, I'm all for. 
I feel like it sharpens your skills. Oh, he's gonna fly high and I'm gonna take the wrong direction. Oh my god, that really stopped me in my tracks. If I can just drive better, right? Oh, Tails is gonna frick me up any second now. Shadow, I swear to god. Get out of here. He's probably gonna hit me with that rocket now that I'm... Oh my god! Tails is ticked. Oh, blind him. Dude, that's not the direction I wanted! Hang in there, Banjo! Wait, maybe I can show Jiggy Rain if I suck enough. Hold on, here. Hang on. Let me let me not do so hot. Can I get Jiggy Rain? That's not Jiggy Rain. Dude! I need Jiggy Rain. I need my I need my all-star. That's not my all-star. I'm gonna cry if I don't get my all-star. I'm not gonna win this race, but I want my all-star before we freaking lose. Dude, where's my all-star? Dude! I could have at least handed over the all-star. I'm still in first by quite a few points, but boy did I not get my all-star. Wait, was that it? Oh, that was the end of the cup, I think. Or is it? I think it is. Hello, yellow flickies. I love flickies. Flickies are adorable. Let's see. A band member of Bowling for Soup said that they would love to dip their tomatoes in, or dip their tomatoes in ketchup. I can kind of see it though. I don't like tomatoes, like pure tomato, but like I can respect that, I guess. Yeah. Not even a big fan of Banjo, but Banjo Three reveal would be would blow your mind. Oh, I. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't know what I'd do. I feel like I'm crying just thinking about it. Jeez. The monkey target stage is the worst. Fair enough. I'm not, I'm not gonna disagree with that. I don't know if it's my least favorite stage, but like I I'm not gonna like not agree with that. Let's see. Kazooie's, Kazooie's judging you for that. She held me back, dude. She held me back. Let's see, what's the next cup? I think this will determine what next character I play. So if I go to advance, what's the next cup? What do we got? So I did that one and that one. This is the egg cup. So let me go Billy Hatcher. I might go Billy Hatcher for this next one. There we go. I guess I could have went I I for the last one, but oh well. You win some, you lose some I I. See, are you doing, or sorry, are you just going to do go mode or are you going to do mission mode? So I'm going to touch upon mission mode. Oh, GP mode. I'm going to touch upon mission mode um, after I do the cups. We're going to kind of look at a few of the uh, the uh, missions that they have on hand. And then uh, I don't know if I'll tackle all of them, but I'll at least, you know, see a good couple of them. So speed, speed blast. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to butcher my words because I'm trying to talk too fast. Uh, speed blast central. Thank you so much for the, uh, uh, well, that's embarrassing. I don't know why I said that. Uh, thank you for popping in. <laughs> How's it going? I like got into the mood of saying like, get, you know, hello, welcome, thank you for the raid. Um, I do see the swap to hypersonic. Um, thank you for the redeem. However, I will say that the um, that the redeem for supersonic. Let me double check real quick. I think I we just got the redeem for supersonic like not even maybe ten minutes ago. So let me see how long it's been. Uh, re recent reviews. Here we go. No, that's raids. Dude, I can't. I can't do worth anything here. Hang on. Go to request queue. Here we go. Thing. Silver7906. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Frick Nation. Welcome, welcome. So, Supersonic was nine minutes ago. So, Alexa, remind me in 21 minutes to go Hypersonic. Got a question? What do be the question? What could I do you for? Yay, Amigo. Yeah, I love playing as Amigo. I'm assuming the general consensus for Nets and Bolts is people don't like it. Most people don't, um, because it's not the true Banjo 3 or true sequel. But, like, for what it's worth, I like it. I was told that there would be pizza rolls here and not pay me the delicious cash of, cash of pizza rolls. Uh, give me, like, five minutes, I'll get you some pizza rolls. You'll be A-OK. -okay. You'll get them. You'll get your pizza. I do like a good pizza roll. I'll go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, now I'm going to read the rest of the chat. How do you stream while doing this? So, there's quite a bit to it. But basically, in short, um, the game plays through a capture card that you need to do to record consoles. Uh, I use Streamlabs or OBS to actually stream uh, what I stream. And then in terms of like VTubing, there's a bit more, like a lot that goes into it. There's quite a bit. 
But um, basically, in short, this model works off my webcam. So when I move left and right in real life, it'll like move my model around. Uh, models are very expensive. There are some free options out there, but typically like it costs hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars to get you what you want. So I've had to invest quite a bit of money into the actual like models and whatnot. Um, so what you're seeing essentially, like if I could just add stuff up for you, uh, Super Zonic, I think, if we're just gonna say my super form, plus my model and everything, I would say a stream like this, what you're looking at ironically, not ironically, but like funnily enough, I would say a stream like this, what you're watching costs maybe like, if you if you count the computer, like maybe four or five thousand dollars, which sounds terrible, but don't get me wrong, I'm only counting that because my computer is like, I think like two thousand dollars or something. So let's not, like let's not count the computer, right? Let's just say the capture card and everything else. It's like two hundred. Let's just say six hundred something for the model. Maybe seven hundred actually, given all the rigging and whatnot. So it's like seven hundred. It's like a thousand some dollars to be able to do stuff like this. There's a lot that goes into VTubing. But I mean, like, there are free options. They're just not, like, gonna be, like, custom. Well, no, there's custom, I guess. But it's expensive. <laughs> it's a very expensive hobby. But I, I, I love to do it, so. And we got a lot more, like, VTubing stuff on the way. So if, if you like that kind of thing, stay tuned. We got we got a lot that'll be coming out. It'll be awesome. Like, new, new looks and whatnot. Like, I am beyond excited for what I got to share. It's, it's gonna blow people's minds. More so than last year. I feel like the human reveal I had, even though everyone was like, whoa, it's human Zonic. You know, as cool as that was, it's kind of like that makes sense for something like that, that to happen. What I've got coming out next, uh, one of them will kind of make sense, but the other one's going to be like a, whoa, we didn't see that coming. Like, people aren't going to see it coming. So it'll, it'll be fun. And then another thing you also won't see coming, a lot of things you will not see coming, and it's going to be so freaking cool. Because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in training to be better, but I need some expert advice. That's fair. Yeah, I would say like the best thing I can I can give advice wise, and I'm not trying to cop out when I say this. It's just there's there's a lot that goes into doing what I do, and I've I've got like a decade's worth of experience with like commentary and devices and all that kind of stuff. Um, no pro by any means, uh, but I've I've got the the chops for like what goes on, and uh, it, it requires a lot of money. Well, okay, you don't have to spend a lot of money per se. You can go PNG tuber route, um, but usually it costs a little bit of money. Um, it takes practice, a lot of research, a lot, a lot of research. Um, I did not get to where, I did not get to where I am now without Google searching, YouTube videos, tutorials, um, use the heck out of that. There are so many people out there with, like, brilliant tutorials that can really help and, you know, get a better understanding for things. It's never perfect from the get-go, it's never perfect at all, but if you get the gist of it over time, it, it's a fun time. But, yeah, it's it's a lot of time and investing. It takes months, possibly years to get, you know, your feet off the ground. But it's it's totally worth it. The process of getting into it is also very fun. So don't, don't be too down on, like, oh, it takes years. Like, that sounds scary. It's not bad. It's completely worth it. I, you just wing it. Yeah, Flame Crystal, like, you, you saying you just wing it. Honestly, if you put a lot of heart and soul into what you do, you can just do it. Like, in days or weeks. I'm not telling you it has to take years. I'm just saying someone like me has been doing this for years. So I'm like naturally like, like in the realm of like capture cards and recording and streaming and all that kind of such. Um, I also have PNGs. I'm not a PNG tuber, but I have PNGs that I use on other people's end. So PNGs are a very suitable way of, uh, you know, not only doing something for yourself, but you could also use them for when you're a part of other people's streams. So it's pretty cool. Also, thank you guys for uh, chiming in in the chat, like putting your two cents in. Really appreciate it. Final Fortress? Oh, heck yeah. Might take a quick drink break, even though we're about to start the race. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, playing one-handed. Let's go. Let's see. What other games do you play besides uh, the questions I asked? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, so I play a lot of things. I'm a variety streamer, so I'll play pretty much almost anything. I say that as I am picky to a degree, but that being said, uh, I'm very big on platformers. So games like Super Mario, um, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, Sonic the Hedgehog, Banjo and Kazooie, uh, Klonoa, Pac-Man, um, a lot of platformers. Kirby, I like, oh my god, put the shield up. Um, I like Kirby, I like uh, The Legend of Zelda. I like a lot of like platformers, a lot of adventure games. 
Uh, I do like the occasional action game, so like I like Team Fortress 2. I like uh, uh, Portal. I like Half Life. I like a lot of things. No mobile gamer. I uh, funnily enough, I do not have any games on my phone. If anybody recalls the meme, like, oh, you got any games on your phone? I don't play games on my phone. I've had games on my phone, I usually just uninstall them. I'm not a phone gamer. Uh, I'm nothing against phone gaming, though. If anybody likes phone games, that's perfectly fine. Um, I know there's people in my community who like uh, Cookie Kingdom, I believe is what it's called. Something like Cookie Kingdom. Um, but I don't really play like phone games, now. Ow. I'm gonna go ahead and pull. Cookie Run Kingdom, that's it. I thought it was Cookie Run. Ah, I second guess myself. Let's see, the track reminds me of Dark Arsenal from Team Sonic Racing, but it's, uh, but in Team Sonic Racing, it's brighter. Yeah, this game, um, as much as I love this game, it can be kind of darker at times with its lighting, or maybe too bright. Um, Team Sonic Racing being a somewhat, you know, more newer game, it's got its lighting down a lot better. So, I think... I know some of these courses return in Team Sonic Racing, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember exactly which ones. I know one of the Seaside Hill ones, too. So... Right now we're playing as Billy Hatcher from uh, a very niche GameCube game. Uh, I personally really like Billy Hatcher, but that being said, uh, that game is a pain in the A. <laughs> as much as I like it, it's it's difficult. It ramps up real quick. Also, uh, just in advance, I do try to read as many comments as I can, uh, but I am also playing a racer game, so or a kart racing game, so if for any reason I miss anyone's comments, I'm super sorry. Uh, I'm not always able to read each and every one of them, but I do try to like graze by them and read them where I can. Just putting that out there. Especially when I've got my eyes on the road, but I, lo I love what you guys are saying, and, you know, keep the chat flowing. I love that. You guys are awesome. Once more with feeling, fellas. I love Big's theme. Oh, God. Ah, the ring. I can't see the road. Where am I? Oh, that's my boost. I kind of meant to actually drift there. You know, when rings hit my face or my head... It makes me think that I can't think. Oh god. Bong. Oh, so that's the ringing in my ears I hear. Taco Bell. Wahoo. Yeah, no, I freaking love this game. The bits! Oh, I heard that rocket. How'd that fail? Oh god. I can't see. I can't see. I can see enough to drive, but I can't see well. Oh God. There we go. Go ahead and kinda, okay. I think I'm seeing again. My vision is coming through. Oh God. I can hear it at least, I'll have to use my ears. Uh. Did I win? I think I won. I play FGO. FGO. I actually don't know what FGO stands for. <laughs> cookie Run is a brand of games such as Cookie Run Kingdom, Cookie Run Oven Bake, all cookie titles under Dev Sisters are Cookie Run. So they have more than just one cookie game? I have like no idea about that. You should try Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel or others. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dude, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! back when I was a kid. Like, I'm talking about like maybe, oh God, I hate saying this, but maybe 20 years ago is when I was into Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh! oh. I hate saying that, because that's when I was like last into Yu-Gi-Oh, but it was about 20 years ago, maybe 19 years or so, but ugh, I hate saying that. It's true, though. Well, I guess the last I was into Yu-Gi-Oh, whenever GX was a thing, I think like that's when I started to fizzle out. I watched GX, and I had cards, but like after, like once I hit Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds, I fell out of it. Yu-Gi-Oh is still cool. I just, you know, I moved on to a bunch of other stuff, but... I've been interested in getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is a fun time. It's just really cool. You hit a true gamer unless you play Flappy Bird 24-7. Dude, I remember when Flappy Bird was an arcade game they had in arcades for like a short bit. I think they still do. I think me and Matthew, when we went on vacation last year, we played a Flappy Bird uh, arcade game, which is freaking weird. So. Fate slash Grand Order. Oh, okay, okay. Five D's nuts! Got him. You got me. You can't win them all, Batman. Lost my Sonic Frontiers game. Oh no! Do you have it for Switch, or do you have it for like a different system? PlayStation, Xbox? I can see you losing a Switch game easily because they're such small little cartridges. 
Xbox? Oh, okay. Which means I need to lay these out, stop Amy. I don't even know if that stopped her, given all the freaking speed pads. This level has a lot of speed pads. I need a rocket. Dude! No, he took the power up. He's gonna win! You're a piece of frick, Tails. I still love you. God bless America. I don't know why I say that anymore. It's kind of funny. Flappy Bird arcade game? Yeah, there's a Flappy Bird arcade game. I think it still is a thing, question mark? Yeah, Kirby right next to you. Oh, heck yeah. Freaking love Kirby. I have to redo everything, but I'll probably wait till I have VK so I can take more time on, or more time into it. That's fair. That's fair. All right, I think we have one more race and this cup's over. We only lost two points there, which really sucks, but whatever. Be that way. Ooh, pin, uh, Pinball Highway. I'm a big fan of this uh, particular course. Don't we all get a boss, or don't we also get a boss rush? Yes, they'll be adding the boss rush, which is very, very, very appreciated, because holy frick, I want to play some of the bosses, but I also don't really want to play through the game a, like a million times just to get to a certain boss. So thankfully they're adding that. Planning on buying the game again? Sounds good, sounds good. Went to 100% Sonic 06 again, the PS3 version this time. Do it, do it. I'll do a Sonic 06 playthrough if you do, because I, I got my 360 back in, like, turned on again and plugged in, so maybe I'll play some Sonic of 6 soon. I don't know if you guys want to see a Sonic of 6 playthrough again, but, uh, I've been wanting to do that with co-commentary, so I'd get some of my pals and we could, like, talk about Sonic of 6 and the story and whatnot. That's, that's something I've been wanting to do for, like, a few months now. So. Whoa! I love that. Boom! Wonder, do you play Sonic Heroes? Yes! Uh, I do like Sonic Heroes. Um, I did a playthrough of it about a year and a half ago. But that's also another game I've been wanting to bring back, so I might might do Sonic Heroes one of these days. Once again with co-commentary, so I had to get some of my friends with me and we can we could talk it up. Talk about Sonic Heroes. I think that'll be a fun time. Speaking of Sonic, if you if you handed me Sonic Forces on every single console that that it's on, I will beat each and every one of those games in one night. Sonic Forces is pretty fast, so I believe you on that. Not that long of a game. 
I think my friend beat it the other day in like an hour and 47, which is bonkers. They've been trying to speedrun Sonic Forces, so they've been very good at it. So that reminds me, I need to open the door to co-commentary here in a second. I don't know who of my friends is awake or would be willing to watch me play Sonic and Sega All-Stars. Oh, I feel like I'm about to get shot any second now. Lap 2. Here, now, let, me, let me read some comments real quick before I forget. Currently doing a level 1 run of Sonic Frontiers. Ooh, nice. I've played a little bit of Sonic Frontiers recently. It's been a lot of fun. I've been wanting to play more of it, too, because it's, it's such a good game. If you ever do a co-commentary on Sonic 06, please let me guess it. I'm, I'm, it's my favorite Sonic game. You love 06? I forgot, because I swear I had a few people pop in and, like, talk like that they like Sonic 06. I think, I think it was you and... Maybe it's you and Lunar I'm thinking of now. Because I didn't know you did, but I knew Lunar liked Sonic 06. So that'd be fun, because you can get, like, other people in on it and talk about it, whatnot. So 06 is your favorite? Dang, we got some people here who like 06. Let's go. Heck yeah. Here at Sonic Game 2. I just love how this chat loves Sonic 06. This is, like, my favorite thing ever. Like, I, like, I don't love Sonic 06 necessarily, but, like, I like it a lot. Maybe a part of me actually kind of does kind of love 06. It's flawed, but like, dude, it's fun. I mean, if you guys are down, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get an 06 thing, try to get that up off the floor and do that one of these days. I love, I'd love to do another playthrough of 06. And Sonic Heroes. I'm not gonna forget about Sonic Heroes. I'm being shot. Kind of, I like Heroes better. Heroes is technically the better game, to be fair. Um, it's also a game I, pref like, I liked. Like, how old was I when... I was like eight when Sonic Heroes came out, or I was like 11 when 06 came out. So obviously I have a bit more of a, like a nostalgic bias for something like Sonic Heroes. I had a bad outing with Sonic Heroes when it came out because I didn't know what to do. It was like, go to the, the old man and test out his shoes. I didn't understand that when I was 11. So I ended up like falling asleep, waking up and I had to like go to school. And I was so upset because I was like, well, what the frick was that game? We're not on the final lap. Oh, I guess I did pause the game. Kind of made it feel like I already did a lap. Hold on here, everybody. I'm going to pull us out of W here. Yeet. Can I get two boosts? No. I remember being able to do two boosts back in the day, dude. Well, that was close. Frick your shield. Get that out of here, Amy. You're not allowed to shield in this neighborhood. If I could do that, yeah! Get some ramp time on that if you're smart about it. I remember some of my tricks from back then. Oh, that is a drift. I say that as the drunk driver just drifted in the wrong direction. Let's see if we can get a boost going. There we go. Go, 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 go. Boom. Sorry about that, buddy. Nothing personnel. Don't you dare hit me with that. You're close, aren't you? Oh, I think they have another punching bag. I gotta go. Finish the race. Finish the race. Come on. There we go. I was a year old when it came out. Holy frick. Dude, what I'd give to be young again. Like, I'm not old, but I'm 27. And I feel like once you hit 26, you're on the home stretch till 30. And it's like, fudge. Phew. Uh, let me check a thing real quick. And not too many of my friends are awake right now, so I guess I'll keep honing the ship. Only 17? Dude, I don't give anything to be 17 again. With the mindset I have now. Like, I don't, I'm more of those people, like, I wouldn't want to turn back time because I want to learn the lessons that I've had to learn. That being said, I'd give anything to be 17. I'd, I'd hit the gym. I'd hit the gym so much earlier than I used to. I'm not like buff for the record, but like I'd love to hit it up in, at a younger age. That was my first Sonic game. Yes, 06 was my introduction to the Sonic the Hedgehog. It's quite the introduction. It's, I mean, you, you found a fun time out of it though, so that's good. Sonic 06 was the first console Sonic game with a boost button where, uh, with the Sapphire gem. This is true. If you get the, I believe it's the blue one. Um, yeah, Sapphire, <laughs> hence the word Sapphire. Um, but yeah, it's like the blue part of your shoe. If you have that, you can like boost a Sonic, which can be for better or worse, but I think it's fun. I personally like the red shoe because it slows down time and it makes getting S rank so much better on certain uh, levels. 
So let's go ahead and play as... I don't know who the next... Let's play it. Mm, I like Zobio and Zopico. Oh, Zobico. I'm sorry. I'm saying Zopico. It's Biko. Go to advance. I don't care what the next... Oh, actually, I think it's the Horror Cup. That's perfect. Let's go. Let me see if I can read a bit more here. First on a game you could use character special abilities and a skill set. Heck yeah. I mean, 06 wasn't perfect, but like it set the standard for a couple things, to be fair. It gave us Invisible Amy for some reason, but I'm all for it. <laughs> gave us Bomb Rings Tail, which was kind of cool. Tails, I'm sorry. I think I was like three or four when he <coughs> Heroes came out. That's fair. I just turned 30 in fe February 9th. Ugh. I'm not quite ready for 30, if I'm being honest. I'd like to hold on to 27 and maybe 28 for as long as I can. I don't look forward to 29. I don't I don't want to be 29. 28 I can compromise with, I think. I don't want to be 20. I don't want to be 29 or 30. What, I'd give it to be 17 for the first time? God. Oh, shit. Hold on to your youth, kiddos. When I say kiddos, I'm not calling you kids. That's just a term I like to say. But yeah, yeah, for those who are young... Uh, live life happy and just enjoy your time. Enjoy your time as much as possible. Like, I say this like my days are numbered. I, you know, I'm still young and I can still have fun. But, like, when you have that age, there's so many opportunities you can have at such a young age. And it's, like, I sound old saying that, I know. But, like, I'm just saying, like, use your time wisely, but also just enjoy yourselves. Time is a very precious thing. And, I, you know, just don't, don't be an idiot is all I'm going to ask. I say this because, like, while I'm not perfect, I was an idiot a couple times in my life. We all make mistakes. You will always learn things, but I'm just saying, enjoy enjoy your life. Treat yourself. Treat your health well. Ow. You know, I'd like it if you didn't shoot a million rockets up my butt, Eggman. You ever think of that? Hang on. Let's see how you like it. Like an aim. Shadow, what are you doing? You let Eggman take the lead. Well, he's not in the lead, but he's in... Oh, God, he's in front of me. Hold on here. Move out of my freaking way. Amy's what? She's suffering? Why do you have to phrase it like that? I don't know if, I don't know if I'd say suffering, but okay. Sure. Go ahead and lay that down. Yeah, Zobio and Zobiko, I believe, are from a House of the Dead thing that's only in Japan. But they do represent House of the Dead in this game, which I love their designs. They're very cute. Let's see if I can freak these guys up real quick. Boom, right there. I get rid of these two. That's a zombie. Oh, dude, where am I going? Do a triple. No, it was so close to a triple. I think you get an achievement if you do that, which I don't know if I've pulled that off yet. Well, no, there's a course where you can do that. I probably have. Okay, here we go. Stay back, the red man. Stay down. Grab a box. Hit Amy. Hit them if you can, question mark. I got Amigo. I don't know how I pulled out. Can we not be hit by things while I'm trying to hit people? Get Eggman. Not the box. Ah. Ah. Oh, dude, my driving skills went out the window. Oh, shoot. I can just tell. I can just tell I got fricked. Dude, I don't want a cone. Cone isn't gonna help me here. I gotta start drifting for my freaking life. Okay, whatever I get next better be rockets or I'm fricked. Speed shoes are good. I say this as options are available to us. There we go. Oh, I need to move. I don't think I'm winning this. I can try to clutch it. I can try to clutch it. Hit the box. No, Eggman. Fudge. I got close. I at least took second. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Funny thing is, when I first played 06, I hated it. So, you, your first Sonic game you played was 06, you hated it, then you learned to love it. I think that's great. That's a fun story. Hence why I said Sapphire Gem, there's two blue gems. This is true. This is true. I'm gonna hop off and mute myself while sharing uh, the Elden Ring scroll, or Elden Ring screen, uh, and not all if you need my help. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Adara. Should head to bed. Good night, Infinity Strife. See, they are from Japan only game, despite the fact that the game never came out in Japan. 
Really? Or th the fact that this game never came out in Japan. So it's kind of the other way around. Like, we have them in this game, but... Hang on, I'm gonna take a quick drink break. So we have them in this game, but they didn't get this game. And they have it in that game, but we don't have that game. That's very interesting. Now, this course did come back to Team Sonic Racing. This is one of the courses you can revisit. They gave us a lot of Seaside Hill classic courses. They even gave us the All-Stars Racing Transformed one with a giant octopus creature, which is fun. I will give Team Sonic Racing that. I do like a good like throwback to classic courses. That's a fun time. I should revisit Team Sonic Racing. I technically didn't finish my series of that, but I wouldn't be opposed to like going back and doing it again. Or like maybe continuing off from where I was. It'll be like quite the time jump. I don't even think I had my... I either didn't have my new model or I just got my new model. My updated one. Yeah, it'd be quite the time jump. A lot has happened since the last time I played Team Sonic Racing. But you know, it's a fun time, so... Now this right here can get you killed if you don't jump that right. Which sometimes it's not your fault. This game has its own way of playing. With the ramps and its physics. But that's kind of the, the neat part of this game. It's very of that, like, Jason Griffith era Sonic. Which, honestly, I really appreciate nowadays. I, I, I love Jason Griffith. And apparently he's going to be attending uh, conventions now. He hasn't attended conventions in a while. And I think his first one is sometime this summer. It's not a convention I'm going to or anything. But, uh... <laughs> I say that like, it's not a convention I'm going to. But, um... If there's ever a convention I go to some someday that he attends, I would love to meet him. He seems like a really chill dude. Would love to get like a signature from him on. I don't know what game I'd want him to sign though. If I had to get him to sign something, probably Sonic Unleashed. Honestly, probably get him to sign Sonic Unleashed. I think that'd be a big deal. Sonic Unleashed or Sonic and the Black Knight. I don't know if I'd maybe Secret Rings. Dude, can you just sign like all the Griffith games? <laughs> I'm just gonna bring a fat stack of games here. Can you sign everything you're a part of? Ooh, actually, maybe a Sonic X Blu-ray. I had the Sonic X Blu-ray. Maybe a nice, nice take. That way I'm not... Well, I wanted to sign a game, though. No! Too many choices. Life, you can't do this to me. I mean, some people will sign a couple things. I got a signature from the creator of uh, Mission Hill the other night, who they've worked on, like... Uh, they've worked on The Simpsons, on, like, their earlier seasons... Um, they, they made, they're, they're responsible for steamed hams. I'm so happy I got a signature from them. Meeting them were really pretty cool. They were, like, one of the coolest guys ever. Very down-to-earth and very chill. Very funny. Obviously, they're comedic writers, so they had some comedy to them. But yeah, I, I got to meet a few famous people the other day, and they're awesome. But I'd love to meet Jason Griffith. That'd be cool. Really hope he comes to the UK. That'd be fun. I wouldn't rule it out. Depending on how, like, desired a person is, sometimes they'll, like, fly you out, pay you for your room, and all the other things. No! It did the jump thing, like I told you about earlier. And now I'm in third! I- Dude! That's- That's dog frick! That's dog frick! Now I'm in fifth place. That is not a rocket I'm seeing right now. I refuse to acknowledge that. Dude, that is dog doo-doo. That's Mario Kart levels of BS. Somebody hit that freaking hedgehog. Oh my god. Also, I don't think she took my reminder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go hypersonic. Although I'll do it for this next race. Let's see where we go next. I need to I need to step up my game. So we'll get my transformation here off the ground. Let's see where we're going to. Detrus Desert Sandy Drifts. You know, not quite my level to power up on, but. Yeah! A power up I shall take. Sonic says, check out the Sega shop. Welcome, fellow acolytes of speed. Accolades? <laughs> Silence commentator, it's my job. I like how that monkey in the top right has a frickin' mustache. I'm only now noticing that. Or is it a banana? It's probably a mustache, but I'd like to think it's like a banana mustache. That'd be funny. I will say I'm not a oh, big fan of this course. Can't say I'm a big fan. Go ahead and shoot that out. Boom, baby. 
There we go. There is a nice shortcut you can take here if you're fast about it. Although you can't slip on bananas. Just keep that in mind. I say this like I'm gonna teach everyone how to play Sonic and Sega all Stars Racing. You've either played this game or you're more than likely never gonna play it. Although if you are interested, stick around, maybe I can give you some tips. Get the frick out of here. Dude, when are they gonna add Hodge? Oh, I was gonna say, when are they gonna add the Bonanza bro? If you hit me with one more ball, I will riot. Um, but if they ever add the Bonanza Bros to the uh, Switch Online, holy heck. Why is everything frying my turkey today? That's a rainbow. I love rainbows, but please, I need to be able to see the road. Hey, I got my all-star. We get the House of the Dead theme here. Got some signatures from the people who worked on MLP, that's about it. Ooh. Funnily enough, one of the people who voices one of the MLP characters also voiced for that thing I went to the other night. They weren't there. Uh, they're the guy who, I think they voiced Robin from Teen Titans. They also voiced for the show I watched the other night. Uh, I do believe they worked with uh, My Little Pony as one of the characters. I never watched MLP, but um, I do know that much, I think. I don't quite remember his name in real life, but he, he voices Robin from Teen Titans. You know that's fun. Big voice actor from what I know. They, they voice a lot of things, I'm sure. Here we go. Let's see if we can get double here. Tri not triple. Not oh, did I get triple? Holy frick, I got a boost. Ah, uh, it's Eggman's all-star. Eggman, you all-star so often. My guy. Ooh, we got some cones. Hang on here. Let's see if I can slam them in front of Amy. Probably can't, so I'll just land back there now. I think you could take a shortcut here if you're smart about it. Yeah, there you go. And then drift. There is an invisible wall in that corner, so you got to be very careful. It'll knock you in the next week, and you're not going to be very happy. I can probably do this. Yeah, it'll hit my shield, but that's a nice shortcut. So that's worth it. There we go. I'm going to lay some cones there. The odds... I was going to say, the odds of maybe hitting one is great, but in the attempt to do so, I got fricked. I got to move now. Go me, go. Lay that down. I don't know if it'll hit her. Probably not. No, nah, I did not. No, you don't. How that didn't frick me up is beyond me. Dude, I should have bit it there. I may not win this. Depending on how Amy shows up. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> I like threw that back at her. It may have worked. There we go. There's not a single Sonic in this race. No Sonic. Hang on, I gotta do the thing. No Sonic. There we go. Bless my mind that Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and Tails now have the same voice actors. Really? I actually didn't know that. They got some voice acting gigs going on. Ooh. I do believe some friends are awake. So I am going to hit up the Zonic stream chat. We're going to open this up to co-commentary. I'll go 30 and then 70. That sounds good. There we go. I have no idea if anyone will appear. They'll appear on the screen if they appear. Scott Minville. Oh, the voice. The voice. Right, right. Now, this is an interesting Jet Set Radio stage. She turning around and say hello to us. Let's go. On this date, on this date. I can't tell if they're saying that or something else. Doink. Well, I fricked up Amy, I think. Oh, I think my game's a little loud. Hello. Hi. Let's see if I can turn this down a smidge. That might be good. And then I think I need to turn you up. There we go. How's it going? It is the oh, pretty good. There you go. Is that, is that, is that better? Yeah, you're good now. I, I had to rotate my microphone a little bit. That tends to happen. But yeah, I'm good. Awesome. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Boop. Yeah. I was kind of uh, keeping the... the oh, hang on. I get my chat up. I was kind of keeping it as uh, the first hour I would like talk about the game and then open the room up to other people to join because it's it's a Sonic game. We got Sega All-Stars here, so... Yeah. We talk about all sorts of franchises. Hmm franchise. Boom. 
I was kind of ranting off earlier, like, you know, as much as I love Team Sonic Racing, I'm like, I feel like they should have kept the whole Sega All-Stars Racing thing going, because it's basically a big advertisement at the same time of having, like, a big crossover, so it's, like, it's kind of a win-win. But, like, I get why they go with Sonic, because Sonic's a, a big enough, like, IP to, like, live out on its own. But that's what I liked about All-Stars Racing Transform. You just had so many different characters. You just advertise, like, people who are coming in. Did anyone else think that a lot of the music in Frontier sounded like Kingdom Hearts? There are a few songs in Frontiers that are just flat out Kingdom Hearts sounded music. Very, very Kingdom Hearts. There we go. Eggman! Out of here. There we go. There we go. I don't know if I'm allowed to, no, I'm not allowed to go up there. Ooh, okay, we're on a lap there, we're okay. Don't turn that way. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the shortcut I, I was that. thinking of. I, I took that. way too sharp of a right turn. I meant to uh, go on that ramp. Oh, the parking garage. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've played through this course. That is completely understandable. Your PC died? Oh no! God, my PC worried me the other day because I... It was the first time in my entire life I've ever seen it go, you know, shutting down because I went to shut down my PC before I went to work. It quote-unquote shuts down. The screen's gone and everything. And usually takes a few seconds and it tinks off. But it kept... The PC was still running and not doing anything else for like two or three minutes. And I'm like, why aren't you just shutting down, shutting down? So I have to like manually press the button to shut it down. And sometimes the PC will bark at you if you do stuff like that. But luckily, like, I had to go to work come back like eight hours later with the anxiety of please let my PC be okay. It was fine. But like I hated that because I had to go, go, go or I was going to be late. Um, that's uh, normally from what I've personally experienced uh, when the computer doesn't shut off right away when you click the yeah. shut off button. Uh, it's mostly just trying to um, uh, one, it's trying to make sure all of the applications are yeah. safely closed and push out all the excess electricity oh okay so it doesn't fry the power supply that's fair yeah because usually it asks you like hey oh, wait i got an achievement what i get <laughs> let's see earn your bronze sega license all right cool Pause. um but yeah so usually it asks like oh it, it won't shut down because of this one program but like it finally didn't ask that for once so when it wouldn't shut down like did you want to ask me computer i would have said i would have said shut it off <laughs> He's gonna let me know. Right. Oh no, I let Eggman win. Whoops, my bad. Well, that's the first cup I lost. How did Eggman win? Didn't you get. <laughs> I don't oh, know how. You got second. Yeah, I goofed it. That's okay. This is more, uh, so f more so uh, for fun stream because I've already got all the uh, triple A's on all these cups. Gotcha. So. I don't need to win. I'd prefer to win, but let's see. I'm going to play as my guy, BD Joe, because he's from Crazy Taxi, and I love this guy. <laughs> let's see. Oh, mm, I already played as Amigo, so yeah, we'll play as BD Joe. Oh, thank you. TTV Rec Time 2015. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Frick Nation. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all having a great day today for everyone who's been popping in and saying, hey. Mine has blue screen of death. Uh, me, every time I started up this last week, I was in a freaking panic. Oh, I feel that. I haven't had a blue screen in a while, but I have gotten them every now and then. They're not nearly as bad as they used to be years ago, but, like, they're terrible to get. Well, they are terrible. Although, they cause such anxiety. Yeah, definitely. I was gonna say, which one's the worst? Wasn't there like red or green or something? One of them was like really freaking bad. Uh, the red screen of death. Yeah. Uh, if you get a red screen, your computer is basically fried. Yeah. You <laughs> try to use that thing, it will explode. The color literally depicts you're screwed. Uh -huh. Red is terrifying. Blue is kind of like a your computer's way of saying, sorry about that. We, we kind of messed up. We'll try to restart now yeah exactly red's like okay. death 
ocean. I see that. I see, I see you in there. Don't <laughs> call me that. I ain't gonna lie. When I read that, I read that like the last part of Sky, and I was like, Sky's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Whoever I just ran into. I can't. B. No. That, yeah, it's B. No, that's B. That's B. I'm B D Joe. They're beat. Oh. Oh, that was. Knocked me the next week. Oh, that oh, we was... got a conga light here in Samba Day, amigo. Samba, meet up there. Can I can I get a freaking cheers in chat for the fact that we got amigo coming back? Woo! I'm so excited. I don't buy rhythm games very often, but that's a game I would buy. I also really want to buy the little drum for the drum and fun game. I own the game, and I told myself I'll buy the drum before I play it. I'm not justified sixty to eighty dollars for a little drum. I will I'll um, one up you with the Taco Bell bomb. It is appreciated. I was actually gonna tell people the story about that earlier, cause like when this game came out, um, me, my dad, and my brother, you know, before seeking out for this game in the morning, cause I'm a crazy nut, I had to have this game ASAP. Um, right. It was the day we tried out Taco Bell's breakfast for the first time. That should date how long ago that was, cause that was they never. I had, they did not have breakfast. That was the first time having breakfast. So I remember getting like the little, I think it was like the Cinnabon Delights, like the little icing yeah. cinnamon thingies. I just remember yeah, getting yeah. those that morning and getting this game. And like, that's how, how much I remember that day. I just remember getting Taco Bell breakfast and be like, they have breakfast now? Now it's normal. Lord. I love Taco Bell breakfast. Oh, it's pretty good. It's so good. I actually, if it were, literally were not for the fact that I was not home until 30 in the morning. I yeah. would have definitely gotten some Taco Bell Ooh. breakfast. Fair enough. I've heard uh, Wendy's has good... <sighs> they had some breakfasty that was good. I know they got French toaster sticks not too long ago that I wanted to try, but I swear they had, like, a potato thing that I tried once and it was pretty good. Is might have been, like, like Baconator or fries or something. That might not be breakfast, though. Is it, is it like the... Is it like a cheesy potato griller kind of situation. Yeah, something like that. It's something like that once, and it was pretty solid. Of course, I didn't order it, but my manager was like, hey, do you want some Wendy's breakfast? And I was like, sure. I don't really decline free food very often. I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, you don't have to do that. Like, I'm in that point in my life. I'm like, yes. I'll, I will take. Oh uh, no, if someone offers me food, I'm gonna take it hands. I'm gonna exactly. Take it. Like like that. Yeah, it's kinda of funny because um actually I should try to move the PNG now I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Over here. Hello. Le boink. Maybe I'll put you right well no, nah, I'll put you right here. There we go. My desire to check Twitter is high. For I have many people I'm contacting. Oh, you thank you for reminding me. I need to check Twitter myself. You're very welcome. Let's see. Because I think blah, I blah, have blah. like eight messages from somebody. Email, don't let me down. Hey. Alright, one of the people I have to contact, it's not gonna be through Twitter, it'll be through uh what's it called? Relax, put your ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, okay, cool. I got the pricing for a commission I was putting in for. Whew. I always love it when, when you're like, oh, this is like, you know when they say like, oh, if you're getting a background, it depends on complexity. So mm -hmm. apparently the range for this one commission I'm putting in for, they said the background can range anywhere between 50 to 150 bucks. My brain's thinking, I, I hope it's 100 tops. They're charging me 60 for it. So that's a win. Ah, oh, it's gonna be such a cool art piece. I'm bad. I'm bad about money, everyone. <laughs> I am too. It's I'm so bad. I'm literally about to put a commission in for my for my de for my uh, demon form to be a model. Oh heck I'm yeah! Oh my god! I'm... How much is that gonna cost? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Say no you, more. <laughs> you you remember how complex that woman is, right? Oh yeah. Oi! Oh no! Oh no! The 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 very specific like. It, the 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 sleeves, the horns, the eighteen, the eighteen piercings. Ooh. 
At least I'm not gonna be the only one on the pain train. Oh yeah, very much so. Holy heck. That'll be fun though. Ah uh, yeah, I'm excited, believe me. Seeing uh seeing uh, uh my girl that only has two art pieces come to yeah. life is 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 wonderful. My my goal in life is so like you know how like in Dragon Ball there's like a bunch of different looks for characters as the series yeah. progresses. So mm -hmm. I want it to be like I want to do like a meme post someday where it's like get all of our friends as characters together and be like this was us at the beginning and like it like time lapses and we've got like hair out the wazoo like we're just freaking changed. It's like this is us now. It's like whoa what happened? There's so much going on. Yeah, it goes from, it goes, it's, uh, myself and Trixie as humans, Matthew's yeah. first model, and, yeah. uh, Zenny's then, pink, little pink self. Yeah, I'll and then I had my, the, just Sonic, really, at the beginning. And now, uh, and then the time lapse of, uh, you having, uh, Spectre's <laughs> act, I have, uh, yeah. I I have my demon. Trixie has her demon. Everybody's gotta have a demon look, everybody. It's 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 yeah. going to be put in as a law that you have to have at least one demonic form or evil form. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I also have my evil self. The uh the where's the fun and plague fair bit? <laughs> it's kinda of funny because you remind me the other day, so you know, me and Zenny have been talking like concepts and whatnot. And mm -hmm. um my one boogeyman character, I was kinda of playing it off as like, yeah, that's my evil self or whatever from another another universe. But then we were kind of talking, she was like, what, what if you just had, like, an evil Zonic that wasn't, like, Boogeyman? Like, an actual, like, Zonic, but evil. And I was like, you mean I could be evil twice? <laughs> said, oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah! And, like, what, and, like, I'm not even joking when I say this. If I go through with that, which is something I'd love to do, I'd make a design for him where he's, like, a bit more different, but still technically, like, closer to my character. But his evil form, I'm flat out going, like... Super Saiyan Rose for this kind of thing. Like, it's gonna be like oh, a magenta yes. purple pink form. I want it to be yes. good. Yeah. That's what I would do. You have you have the pink haired bitch seal of approval. Uh, for those who don't know, like, the fact because I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, my goal at Day's End is I'm gonna have all the forms you could possibly freaking imagine. <laughs> I wanna be, I want every freaking form. I'm Blanco right now. Like I want, I want, I want all the forms someday. I, I this just is a imagine, goal. I just imagine your, uh, your final form before you stop putting in <laughs> any more model commissions. <laughs> it's just, it's just, uh, it's just a uh, Super Saiyan Two Beast. Oh my God! Go! That is crazy. the final form you put in for. Ooh, and Dragon like, Ball fan. Yeah, we're Dragon Ball fans here. And you're like, uh, and you're like, all right, this is the final. This is my final form. <laughs> I will let everybody know that I will never have a final four. <laughs> I'm letting you like a little bit of a spoiler. There will never be final forms. someday. I shall have like hair that reaches the freaking ceiling. You, you, you just you just get stronger. Exactly. You just get stronger and stronger. Like no joke. Um, and like I've I've taken a lot of things into consideration because like I'm at a point. Like I had to think about it the other day. Like I'm at a point where. You know, I've got the super form, I've got a hyper form, I've got a lot of, like, the basic stuff. Like, I don't want to, like, you know, downplay, but, like, it's kind of like your base set for Sonic characters. So, yeah. going forward, you know, there are concepts like the Werehog, there are, like, Dark Spine Sonic, Dark Sonic. You know, there's all these concepts and whatnot, and, you know, some of my friends know a few things that are going on. But, like, going forward, going into, like, next year, I would like to actually, like, dip into you know, that realm, like even stuff like the, the Knights of the Round Table, I think stuff like that would be fun. That'd oh, be great yeah, for like RPGs I, and stuff. I was literally just about to say, uh, the, uh, and then there's the, uh, Excalibur Night King Yeah, Sonic, like how Sonic. cool would that be? That would actually be really freaking cool. That'd be cool. freaking good for like RPGs and adventure games, and I just think that like it'd be a fun redeem, so, like, yeah, going forward, I would like to dip more into like other looks like that. Uh, now, anything I listed, Things can or cannot be happening. Um, I'm not gonna open my mouth yet, but uh, there are things in the work. I will say that there's more coming out next month than I had originally intended. I got, I got, I swung one more bonus in somehow, and people are gonna laugh and think it's the coolest thing ever. Oh, well, I say laugh in the regard of like, there's a bit in my trailer that's gonna make people laugh. Um, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, you, you guys are gonna absolutely love it. And all of our other friends have so many other things planned and it's incredible. We, we, I can't say, I can't stress it enough. Like, we, we put so much thought and care into it because we just love to, like, do stuff for the community and it keeps things fresh and we have fun with it, so. The Metal Sonic, that'd be a fun one. 
Or like a mecha one or something. That'd be cool. I actually need to get the, the mecha that Zenny designed for me into oh, like yeah. actual fruition. That's a concept I wouldn't mind delving into someday, yeah. That'd be cool. Yes. I would love, like... The mecha era. Yeah, I just need to, I just, I have a mech. Confirmed mech. I just need to actually, like, get it into fruition. I just realized, how does your wife work with that, given the, the arms thing already? Uh, yes. <laughs> the, okay, I was just curious, because I'm like, wait, uh, if they get a mech, do their arms become humanoid? <laughs> Uh, we, we would actually, uh, me and my wife would actually need to sit down and talk about that. <laughs> oh my god, I, like, comedically, right, and I don't mean this seriously, but, like, it'd be funny if, like, if it's the other way around, like, I'm completely mech, except my arms, slice the arm, ah, my arm! <laughs> <laughs> Just my the, arms are the only, only thing attached Yeah, to only the, the arms system. have feeling. <laughs> only the arms. Oh, I love that. So Sonic is going to become gone from Hunter Hunter. Oh, that's right, because I think he's got, like, the hair that goes up high. Yeah, that, oh, that, yeah, that'll be my goal someday. You guys will see me have, like, super spiked up hair, and I'll make it, like, an obscure... Maybe either rainbow or some kind of obscured color, and it'll just touch the ceiling. And I'll literally say, you can't stop me now. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Uh, I'm trying to think of other Sonic forms that I, I haven't t uh, talked about. I feel like I'm missing one. I know it's, no, I said Dark Spine. I almost said Secret Rings form. Shut the frick up, me. <laughs> yeah, that is Dark Spine, my friend. That secret, is Dark Spine. My Secret Rings form. The Magic Tampa. <laughs> I don't know what that'd lead to. Um, honestly, the Secret Rings form, Secret Rings the uh, transformation was probably my favorite of the Storybook cool. Chronicles. It's it's something Literally. I want to look into more. Literally, because it's supposedly the negative. <laughs> what would a negative supersonic would be. Yeah. Ooh, I'm glad you brought up uh, Beast Sonic in chat, Silver, because uh, let me let me pause here for a sec. I actually have an art piece that's absolutely out of this world where it has the uh, the Beast Gohan pose and everything. Let's see if I can grab that here. Here we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That should be the proper one. This is an art piece I got from somebody. Well, you know, if it actually important to what I wanted. Right. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is from Laser Potatoes uh, of Twitter, and uh, they made me this B Sonic art piece where he's doing the special beam cannon, which is absolutely what. Like I remember when I saw this in theaters, I went, "Well, that's something I want." <laughs> and when I was able to get through Laser Potatoes, I'm like I knew their artwork was like out of this world, so I was like, "I have to, I have to put in for that." So it's an art piece I really love. That looks epic. Thank you. It's it was a it was it's. A, it was expensive, but like it was also like very good for the price. Cause honestly, I feel like most people will charge like a butt ton of money for a piece like that. But I think I spent like a hundred and thirty or forty or something. But it, to me, it's like a two hundred, three hundred dollar art piece at least. It's sick. Hey, bird girl, welcome. Zonk will destroy us by playing rock paper scissors. <laughs> oh heck yeah. A game of chance. Oh, this is actually one of my favorite courses because you can get some really sick jumps off. I'm trying to think of other forms because um, there's there's one thing I have in the works which is a fun play on something, but I will say that I thought about it and I think I could go beyond that idea. Like I could play on that idea more. And what's interesting about that is it's that entirely like the idea I'm coming up with in my brain like what I'm thinking of this has never ever happened so um, I'm gonna be trying to look into that in the next year or two I say this as you know nothing's ever confirmed but um, it's a very interesting concept very very interesting there's an all-star on the track it's freaking beat drift 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 there we go. How much does a general art commission actually cost? Because I want to know. It does depend on the person, but I, in my opinion, there are some really good artists out there that if you want like a really good piece and you're not spending like a ton of money, um, I know a few people out there who do stuff anywhere between, I'm going to say 40 to $60. Like, and I'm talking about like a really good art piece, but within a fairly reasonable budget. Because I, I saw, I found somebody the other day who I did contact for a commission um, and once again, I'm not trying to downplay people. Sometimes people will raise their prices once they realize, you know, how much their art is really worth. 
But like, I'm commissioning. I'm wanting to commission somebody who I think a commission is like 45 bucks. But like, in my opinion, I'm like, eh, you might want to put that up to like 60, 70. Uh, but don't mind if I do. <laughs> um, I'm the same way. I literally act. I I looked Benny dead in the eyes and said, "You should not be charging forty dollars for an oh, eleven yeah. character image." Oh no! Oh my god! That's a lot of. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. And Vinny's like, uh, you would hate my old prices then. Oh my god. I'm, I'm one of those people, like, I kind of know how to work, like, money in a system and stuff. I know that sounds terrible, but, like, you know, I, I've, uh, I've had a garage sale here and there before in the past couple of years. My mom goes to price stuff. She's like, I'll price it for this much. And I'm like, mom, that's, like, nothing. And I'm like, here's what you do. You slap a two for five on there and blah, blah, blah. Boom, I'm selling things like it's nothing. Because it's like, you just, you just gotta do it just right. Like, I'm not saying make it expensive, but like, right. you know, 40 like, um, bucks is underpaid for 11 things. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna pay him like 80. Yeah, I'm that's just, fair. And and, uh, and he's not allowed to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to give the money back. Um, There's a, a, a and the Jan Cheap commission I got. Yeah. That was, I want to say, 160. That's fair. Um, and it, really well priced for really well done art. I yeah. completely respect. It, it had all all of the all of the add-ons to it. The, uh, the 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 shading, a custom background, the whole shebang. Yeah, that's fair. Cause like a whole background and everything, that's about the right range for that high of quality art. Was that was that John B D Joe? It's John B D Joe. Also, hello, Luther. Hello. Oh crap. <laughs> I hit the wrong direction there. Get out of here. Uh oh. There goes my vision. I got this. I think. I think. How drunk am I? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. Tails. Okay, you know what? I thought I was strong. Tails just dipped in the ocean with this plane. I was going to say, if any of, the, if any of them take the shuttle cut. <laughs> Dude, that was actually kind of close now. I'm thinking about it. I didn't realize that was lap yeah, three. Honestly. Oops. There we go. Yes, hello, Luna. How are you doing? How are you both doing, I should say? I should probably ask um, both of you. Yeah, that's fair. You, you already asked me already. Oh, so did I? I? Okay. Yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't sure. I have, I have to cover my bases. You're I'm good. doing a uh, very good thank you. I, I just made dinner. Some chicken and rice. Nice. Got my, one of my favorite games ever on the screen. Yeah, I love this game. Um, I kind of rate it higher on the kart racer from Sonic just because, like, even though this is an older game compared to Team Sonic Racing and All Stars Racing Transformed, I like All Stars Racing Transformed the most, but I'm going to say this is my second and then Team Sonic only because I really like the arcade feel that this game has. It actually has an arcade, like, machine, but it's very arcade style gameplay. I don't know how to describe it, but I kind of like that. It's very Sega. Yeah, yeah I go even. Yeah. So. Team Sonic Racing could have been better. They just needed to expand upon it more, update it more, and treat it a bit better, and not release it next to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. I would have pulled the game back a sec. It went, it went up against Crash, and Crash was just the better game at day's end. Unfortunately, Activision also had their hand in on that, so they kind of went to town microtransactions-wise, which peed off people. Unfortunately, they, they kind of succeeded at it. I'm going Bonanza Bros. The Bonanza or Bonanza Brothers, is, uh, according to this game. I had my pronunciations wrong. We're going to go to the Monkey Cup. More characters and more mods for the uh, cars, Mario Kart style. Heck yeah. I wish this game had a bigger modding community. I agree. Almost thought my boy Amigo would win, but, but the win, un, un, or get the win unintentionally. If there's anybody I'm going to let beat me, it's going to be Amigo. Hell yeah. Plus, we've got a new game coming up. Yeah. Amigo's relevant again, and I'm so happy about that. I know, so am I. I was saying the other day, I wonder if it's um, Sonic Team making it again. But then I read, uh, apparently it's going to be Sumo Digital. Really? You know what? That might be a good take, though. Honestly, yeah. I am I'm slightly worried because anything Sumo Digital has made besides the Sonic Racing games have been kind of mid, but <laughs> uh, that's fair. I, I can't. I, mean, it's I a honestly game. don't. I'm gonna. 
be honest, I don't trust Sumo Digital after they flopped with TSR. And the buy. Oh, fun, you're right. <laughs> They, they, flopped flopped TSR. TSR. they flopped with TSR. No, we didn't flop. I mean, it succeeded as much as Sonic Forces does on the technicality scale of it got it sold enough. It is a good game. Team Sonic Racing is a good game. It's just not a great game. Yeah, it is not like of the same level as All Stars. No, Racing. definitely I, not. I, I, I'd play it once. I'd play it once. I'd complete it. I'd never touch it again. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna disrespect that. I, I understand. It, it, it. For what it is worth, it was all right. However, comma but you could have done so much better. Bomb. <laughs> that bomb was freaking not working the way it should. The bombs are awful in this game. Yeah. Um. But yeah. No. Like Team Sonic Racing have potential. Like obviously the music's good. All the courses and designs are good. The character choices are great. Um, for the most part. I think there's like a few things people wanted tweaked. I know a lot of people weren't very for, what was it, Silver, Blaze, and Vector being a team? Because it was kind of yeah. like out of left field. It makes sense within the story context. Right, right. Yeah, Zavok. I am not a big fan of Zavok. I don't hate him, but like... Like, at this point, if he's in the IDW comics, I'm fine with that. But, like, games, I'm I'm done with him. I was going to say, that one doesn't even make sense when the fight the of the story context. Like, why? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would have honestly had the Chaotix been their own team. The man hates Eggman. What, what is he doing? Also, a part of me really wanted DLC where they would add Classic Sonic, and then you would be able to, like, have them be alongside Mighty and Ray, because I thought that would have been adorable and awesome, but I'm apparently that's asking for, too much. I'm going on a tricycle. <laughs> I'd pay good money for that, I'm not going to lie. Get out of your Shadow. Hi, Shadow. Doink. Doink. You're fucking amazing. what I get? I'll take it. Yeah, where was Cream? Cream would have been fun. And no, nobody can use the excuse, well, why is she driving a car if she's six? Literally, most of them can't drive cars at a legal age. I feel like people do that with Cream, where they're like, she's not old enough. First of all, she pulled off the motorcycle look amazingly in one of the comics. So I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> she's been spending too much time with Shadow. That's how she can drive. Yeah. It, Shadow? Oh my god, if nobody's drawn this before, do, do the classic... Like, Cream's in Shadow's lap in a car, and she's, like, learning how to drive with Shadow at a very young age. Do that as an art piece. That'd be adorable. Honestly, I could see it happening, considering uh, Shadow has slowly, canonically become Cream's babysitter. Ooh, or even better. Or even better. Have it be Sonic and, and Cream is in Sonic's lap, but then Sonic's, like, worried, like, she's not doing very well. But when Shadow takes the wheel and gets her in there, he's teaching her, right? And it's like, yeah, Shadow's got this. That'd be funny. <laughs> I'd, and I'm a Sonic fan. I love Sonic more than anything, but I would crap on Sonic for a bit like that. That's funny. You he hear goes, that, Ocean? Get Ocean. her done. Ocean, don't hear nothing. Yeah, you, you, you're not here, Ocean. You didn't hear anything. Oh, Mom, she'll do a little, my connection cutting out. Maybe come back if Mecha Sonic would have made more sense than Zavok. That'd be interesting for sure. But they did have Metal Sonic already. Like my like the main thing about oh, TSR I hated was um oh like oh that that is bravely <laughs> unfortunate. Freaking a. Um, uh, the main thing about TSR that I sincerely just that I sincerely hated oh. was the um was. Right. You, you're you're locked to one like team yeah you can't, you can't like pick multiple ca different characters and team up with friends yeah you yep. have yeah you have to pick if you pick one team you are locked with those three characters it that does is one yeah. of the things about tsr i did not like it does suck well, when it's like oh you got first place but tails got fourth and knuckles got seventh you suck it's like wait what i do yeah. And yeah, I know that's the main gimmick behind it. Like, you can pull them through and help them out by switching items out and whatnot. Like, that's the thing. I like that to an extent. 
But I like a kart racer days and we're like it's you more so and if you can make teams Optional sure, but it's got to be like strictly on their own accord not because it, Once again, I'd rather that be like a friend like I'd rather be like oh we're all on a team and we were in control of ourselves That's fine because you know, that's how that would go but right. when it's you know the CPUs when you and have they're to built a certain on, way. Yeah, when you have to rely on dumb bot CPUs, yeah, I yeah. understand that. Oh please, game. You're a piece of frick. Never mind, <laughs> this game's on the bottom of the list. Use for I'm, TSR are actually well, pretty good. Right? The main issue with them is the game itself. <laughs> like, no, yeah, the CPUs are alright. Right. They're, 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 some of them are dumber than a sack of rocks. And the yeah. reason why is like entirely down to the physics engine because the amount of times they'll flip over, get stuck on the head, and remain that way for an entire race is ridiculous. Right. The, how much you're defending this game is scary. Mario Kart Double Dash is, or did it right? Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, I feel weird about it nowadays because like I like it, but like because you are, you play other Mario Kart games, it's a very different drift game. So to get back into it isn't the easiest in my in my opinion at least. Um, but it's super fun. It's a good game. Also, as to why I'm defending it, not scared. I think every Sonic game is going to defend every single one of them. Even Sonic uh, Drift? Yes. I love Sonic Drift. Uh. <laughs> uh. I'm. I'm just going to drive. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, as to not lose respect for you. Why? I could've sworn you didn't like a Sonic game of some kind. I can't stand Sonic Drift. I love Son I love the original Sonic R over Drift. I mean, yeah, I do too, but I still love Sonic Drift, but it's all right. I, I, I can't. No. It's it's bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's Don't. worse than- It's I'll worse punch. than TSR. And that's saying something! Dude, I can't drive when I'm laughing. <laughs> Oh god. I don't need a shield. Get the frick. Oh! <laughs> My man's doing My man's I'll take it. I'll take mind. it. Now, if I can just get the right item. Get the frick out of my way! I'm doing it. Let's go. He's gaming, Ma! He's gaming! I was like, use the shield, go by the guy, don't worry about your momentum, get hit. Hit him with the rocket, make the turn, go! Yeah. There's a lot that happened in those few seconds. Poor I. Welcome. Sorry about that. <clears throat> the guts. Let's see. Double Dash was also two people in the same car and in individual carts and not individual. Yeah, they kind of yeah. give you your options. Oh, Monkey Target. This is one of my favorite courses. I love Monkey Target. This is the better Super Monkey Ball stage for sure. Because like, holy frick, I... that first one. Yeah, I like the I liked uh, double dashes being able to mix and match characters. You aren't locked to two specific characters. Kind of why I like Nintendo more as a company than Sega. I love Sega, but like you know, obviously Nintendo's got the bigger budget, blah blah blah. So they make very high quality choices like that. Whereas with Sega, they're very like we think this formula is neat, and it's neat. It just could be executed better. I was gonna say, I think saying that <clears throat> Nintendo is about a company that say it's kind of a, a bit of a spicy take. It's kind of fact at this point. I mean, no, it, it's, it, yeah, it's, not a, it, it's an opinion, it's not, spicy, but... it's not a spicy take. Yeah, it is. Fact. It's fact. Gonna, yeah, it's kind of fact like. Like, I'm not. Like, it is an opinion at Days In, but, like, statistically, it's it's big time fact. They, they give, sure, they give the, de the dev team more of a budget, but they're just assholes to everyone. <laughs> Well, it's just one of those things like uh, the next Sonic game is quote unquote getting a bigger budget. That's great. Well, like, that's like a big move for Sega. You want to know what a big move for Nintendo is? A whole freaking theme park. You know what a big move for Nintendo is? Actually releasing their games or anything else <laughs> other than their own consoles, enabling cosplay on any of their other platforms, allowing fan games being made of any of their properties. I mean, that kind of freaks up the, uh. That kind of freaks up their property. Ow! Oh. Because, because uh, they're because in a position where they can hold on to it and just keep it for themselves. They don't have to share with anybody. And if uh, if people are making um, fan games of their IPs and they like the fan games better than their games, no one will that, buy the real ones. No one will buy the real ones, and that means they lose money. Pokemon being a prime example. Now I'm one of those people like 
like, I would, like, I would buy, like, Pokemon Fire Red, right? But, like, oh, if there's a ROM hack of it, well, okay, yeah, I, I like the fact that there's a ROM hack, but I did support the original game, for example. Just an example. Uh, but I'm not the type of person being like, oh, this fan made a better Sonic game. I'm not buying Frontiers. Like, I don't, no, 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 no. I was gonna say that's a very oh, wait, broad jumps. Jokes to say that a fan game is gonna be any better than something like a Galaxy or an Odyssey. Some people like to say that and do that. It's just, I don't know. Like, well, honestly, those people are wrong. Oh, hey, I'm gonna hit a wall. I'm okay for now. Uh, uh, if you think people who find fan games better than actual games wrong, then you have some pretty, pretty, pretty time, spicy welcome. opinions. You know that. And by spicy opinions, I mean hot takes. Well, I'm sorry, I have a fat ass and crazy opinions, I can't help it. That's what we call, uh, that's what we call a, uh, bleh, I can't say it. Instead of a hot take, that's what we call a cold given. Honestly, in genuine seriousness, I will buy, obviously, I own every single Pokemon game. Like, I am not fucking around right now. Right, like, you every... support the games. Yes, I support the games, 100%. I have every single Pokemon game that has been released since I've been born. Right. Uh, but, honestly, the fan games are better. I'm gonna be honest with you. Some there of the fan games are nice. Some of the fan games are so much better than the actual content. It also doesn't help that like when a fan can take something that already exists, can take the time as much as they want, and any idea that doesn't, you know, they're not held back by other people. They can just kind of go with it. To make it better? To make it better, yeah. It's, you know, it's less restricted when a fan kind of gets their fingers in because they can add what people are clamoring for. Whereas like a company, once again, they have ideals, they have thoughts. And they try to protect certain areas as much as possible, so they won't delve into certain ideas until, like, the next game. And then the next game's got, like, ooh, new clothing options, ooh, where, you know, it's like, that's neat, yeah, for official games. But by the time they've done that, it's like fans have probably made other games and given you God knows so many options. Yeah, there's, uh, count. for example, the Pokemon fan game, I believe it's called, uh, it's a really, really dark one. Hold on, let me... Let me find it. Hold on, I gotta pull up my... I'm appreciating the fact that I, I is getting his all-star while I'm in the Super Monkey Ball level. I can appreciate that, too. The music's uh, consistent. I'm appreciating the fact that Shadow's gotten second place in, like, every race I've seen so Dude, far. Dude! This entire stream, Shadow's been holding second, and it's great. He almost got me in the first cup. I won by maybe half a second, I think. You wanna know why? Because I had to shoot him about three or four times to keep him back. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Why are you in the hood of the car? I did love to say about my internet just to keep the sound crap up. No, it's because he's the best character in the game. <laughs> okay, I do love his vehicle choice in this game too. You have a hardcore bias. I don't. Like, that's not, that's not a personal bias. He is. I mean, if I get throw my two cents out there, I'm a big Sonic fan, um, and, you know, I would totally be there right there and then, um, but I will say, I like playing as Amigo quite a bit. I think he's, like, a fun, like, like, not just the character, but, like, the way he, he controls. Oh, I love him. But yeah, I'm, I'm not biased in the slightest. Um, uh, Banjo and Kazooie, though, is probably my favorite character. <laughs> sure. Totally I'm not, I'm not biased. Fire. Sonic's my favorite guy, guys. You gotta understand that, you know. It's different here. It's different. Alright, I'm still biased. But I do like Amigo on a side note. Like, if we're not counting the extra character in this game, uh, Amigo, and honestly, I like playing as Tails in All-Stars Racing Transformed. Oh, All-Stars... Tails in All-Stars Racing Transform is phenomenal. Yeah, they control very well. Mm-hmm. Going... Going how do they hard, miss? Though. Honestly, like, I'd... Per I'd I, I honestly prefer Tails and, um... I'm gonna try it. Uh, I, I prefer Tails and... Uh, <laughs> nice. Woo! Ah, uh, uh, fuck, English. Uh, I prefer Tails and the normal, and the, and the uh, All-Stars Racing Transform than I do in this, hands down. Fair enough. I love playing a Tails in that game. I do too. The wink. Let's see if we can read a few comments here real quick before I forget. Let's see. You nearly screwed up the by letting Big pass him. Oh yeah, I I went to shoot Shadow to ensure my victory for the entire cup, 
and I needed big to get second place and I shot big. <laughs> I'm like, crap. I still won that with big coming in second, but like, boy, was that close. Thunder deck. Ain't that the one in Team Sonic Racing? Yes. This is, um, this is a, this is a course I get to throw back in Team Sonic Racing. I really do like, like the choices they picked to have best throwbacks, they picked really good throwbacks. They're all throwbacks from this game. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They they have like one of the original Seaside Hills from this game. They have the Team Sonic Racing Seaside Hill in this, you know, second game. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, holy frick. I really like, I think I appreciate more now than I did when it came out. The Arctic kind of like, went, like, what's the word, course called? It was like the one with the Sonic Reach music. That was like Market Arctic. Three. Or Ice Mountain, one of the yeah, two. Yeah, the Ice one. I really like the Ice one. Ice Mountain. Yeah, Ice Mountain's pretty fun. Hmm, Ice Cap Zone. Exactly. This is all all the music. Thunder Deck is your favorite racetrack. It's fun. I do like Thunder Deck. I could do Market Street more eyes closed. Market Street's fun. Oh, it's it's just rooftop run and racing form. I don't need to say anymore. Exactly, it's my favorite level ever. I don't think my favorite. My favorite level in a Sonic game, or either of my two favorite levels in a Sonic game, have ever been a racetrack. Because I love Chemical Plant, and I love... Oh, Chemical Plant, my Emerald beloved. Hill. Not Emerald Hill, what am I saying? Uh, Emerald Coast. And they're neither horses in any racing game, which Emerald Coast I can understand to a degree. Um, you could even argue that something close to that would be, I think it's Outrun from Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. That's kind of Emerald Coast-esque. So I like I that. that yeah. But, and then Chemical Plant. Like, why the frick do we not have a Chemical Plant course? Hypothetically speaking, right? A racetrack is a course you run on to yeah. get to the end as fast as possible, right? Correct. What's the Sonic level? The same thing. Exactly. So, technically, doesn't that make, hypothetically, every Sonic level a racetrack? Technically speaking. So, therefore. Especially if you consider, like, time trials and stuff. This has been my hypothesis with it. This has been a lunar minute. That's been my TED talk. The lunar says every song I gave is valid, and if you don't like any of them, you can chalk it up to Twitter. Exactly. Boom, that, that there is, we go. Say, that is a fact. Yeah. I'll be honest, the whole fan uh, games will always be better than the official stuff really puts me off fan games. Yeah, I feel bad because people who make the fan games aren't going in to trash Sonic or Sega or Sonic Team or anything like that. That's their way of saying, we, you know, I like Sonic, we love Sonic, you know, we want to make our own take on it because that's fun. This is the thing we love. And when people say that they like it over, you know, the official stuff, I'm sure to some degree they are flattered, but they don't want you to trash on the thing they are, you know, trying to love. So, right. you know, people don't get that. I think you have to remember from a perspective is both A, the fact that when it comes to people saying, oh, you know, fan games are better than official games, that's a matter of opinion, you know, that's somebody's like right. saying, you know, I like this game more than the other game, right? And B, fan games are made by, like, anywhere between one person to a team of, like, ten, whereas the official games are made by a dev team. <laughs> They're not finished enough. Wait, what now? That fan games are, like, traditionally made between like one person to a team of ten right. that, are, that are all majoritably unpaid whereas like an official game is made by a whole dev team that do get paid they're, they're not better really liked it, or really liked Haunted Castle and Turbine Loop ooh I, I'm actually a, I, li I love Haunted Castle I also really like the dialogue exchange between Sonic and Silver when you get to Haunted Castle I do too they're adorable thank you how, what, what's your thoughts on the voice actor for Silver in Team Sonic Racing? Oh, this is now I'm trying to remember. Because, like, I know him for a few things he's done, but to me, he's not a Silver. He's other characters. And, like, when I try to hear him, like, is this Silver? I don't get a Silver vibe from that voice actor. I also don't know if they're permanent, though. I think they were, like, filling in the shoes because whoever was doing the voice, you know, there was, like, multiple characters who didn't do their voice for that game. Oh, God, it was Bryce book. Let's see if I go to Was the it Bryce? Yeah, Bryce uh Bryce Poppin book. Oh shit. Well like when I hear uh, that voice, I don't think silver, I think other characters. 
In 06 and the Rivals games, he was done by P. Capella. Um, afterwards, between that and Forces, he was done by Quinton Flynn, the guy who does Ryzen and Metal Gear. Um, yeah. And then TSR onwards, he's been done by Bryce Pappenbrook. Right. I say TSR onwards, only TSR. Play Choo Choo's. I've already done all the cups. Okay, so I'll probably circle back around. I'm gonna do this one because I like this cup. I was gonna say, you got the challenge mode, don't you? Yeah, I got the missions as well. This is a good way to rack up points, but... Yeah, so that you can unlock Shadow, the best character in the game. Wish we had a Crisis City track at one point or, or in another racing game. I do like Crisis City. So here's my thesis. Oh my god. I do re uh, still respect the people who make fan games and understand that they are made out of love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I get that too, right? But at the same time, I I also understand the fact that, like, this is, like, one or two people in their basement, you know, rapidly typing up code, whereas, oh my god, you're playing as the Choo Choo's. Yeah. You poor thing. I don't know how they play, but... They are the worst character in this whole game. Oh, heck yeah, I'll make it work. Doink. I also feel like they're one of the most forgettable of the Sega IPs, which, like, I, I like Choo Choo Rocket, and I love their look, but I feel like out of everyone here, I can see people forgetting about Choo Choo's. I mean, yeah, it's because like, when you put it into perspective, Ow. nearly every other series here is like well, a series, you know, like multiple games. Yeah. With everyone was. Whereas the Choo Choo's is like one small little puzzle game that just released with almost zero fanfare. Exactly. Amy, get back here. Like everyone's like, yeah, Shenmue, yeah, Jet Set Radio. What the fuck is a Choo Choo? You mean you haven't played Choo Choo Rocket for the Dreamcast? How could you? Do you mean you've never played Choo Choo Rocket for the Apple TV? I mean, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. To be fair. Oh, big theme, my beloved. As a as a quick frame of reference to everyone oh, in chat, the way you could tell that a character in this game is good is that they're on a bike. Fair enough. It's basically Mario Kart Wii Syndrome in a way. Besides Big, he's the exception that proves the rule. Yeah, Big freaking sucks. I love playing as Big like, as a character, but like in terms of his gameplay, it's pretty bad in this. Yeah, so essentially Shadow, Alex Kidd, and Ryo from Shenmue. Yeah. yeah. I also think that the original voice actor Big still voiced Big in this game. Uh, I uh, I think Justin it was, John. I want to say it was John St. John, but I could be That's wrong. That's because uh, a large majority of the voice clips in this game are just reused from previous games. Yeah. Because this was around the time where I think Eggman's Japanese voice actor died, so the entire dev team worldwide just decided, okay, instead of recording new lines, we're just going to keep taking the old ones because we can't find a new yeah. Japanese voice actor there for some reason. Zarataro, thank you so much for the raid! Hello! Welcome Raiders! We're currently playing Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Uh, we kind of just restarted one of the cups we played already, just for the sake of some points, because I want to unlock a couple things. But yeah, we're having a fun time. We're kind of just talking Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic games, uh, other various topics and whatnot, and all that kind of business. How was your stream? You have a fun time? Hello! Playing the good Sonic racing game? Yeah, you know it. This is a good yeah. game. I love this game. It's a good game. I have had the privilege to play the arcade cabinet version of this game so once. So have I. And it's pretty fun. It is. Oh, God. They used to hold a world record on uh, Whale Lagoon using Eggman. It is the only way you'll ever get to play Billy Hatcher in the arcade. Because things like, um, I think Amigo had an arcade. Uh, I know Super Monkey Ball did. I played a Super Monkey Ball game once in the arcade, but like, Billy Hatcher is kind of stuck on GameCube, unless you play the racing games. Or tennis? Is he in the tennis? He's not in the tennis one, is he? No, I thought so. Okay. I thought for a second, I was like, he's. No, he's not. He's in Sonic Riders? Yes, uh, Zero Gravity. Gravity. Yeah, Zero Gravity, correct. <laughs> that was your last ring? Aw. Yeah, it takes a while to rack up points on Twitch. I actually made the just, rings cheaper recently. I just haven't used them. Fair. Uh, 
Oh, frick. Shadow not even breaking a sweat. Yeah, he just crashed back there. He's not sweating. Yeah, he took the crash and he's just going off. Like... He, he, he like spins out and keeps driving. That ain't nothing. Knowing him, he could do that. That would be a shame. Honestly, yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about like the reused voice clips in this game is that, like, obviously for a lot of characters, it just kind of makes sense because a lot of their lives are just like, yes, I did it. But Shadow's voice clips are all reused from Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. And because of that, and this is a this is a common issue across tennis and racing transformed as well. Oh! Because of the oh Jesus Christ. What a because way to turn your camera around. Honestly. Because all of his uh, lines are reused, he sounds like he's constantly forgetting who he is and where he is. <laughs> who am I? Well, because like, at the very start of a race, there's a chance to say, like, who are you and how do you know my name? Yeah, I love yeah. that voice line. <laughs> I love that voice line so much. Because he really just took it from Shadow of the Hedgehog, but like, what a way to start a race. Or like yeah. Sonic, I can take care of this myself. Like, yeah, Sonic, you're in a cart by yourself. <laughs> Fair character in this game of Shadow. Too. Heck yeah. Like, a lot of the lines just make sense on their own. Okay. Just that, like, dynamic dialogue, but when it comes <laughs> just, like, Shadow's dialogue would take it from that game. Yeah. It's kind of like, it sounds like he's just insane if you don't hear it in the correct context. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's so good, though. It's, it really reeks of that Sega cheese. Are right, gonna head to bed? Okie dokie. Have a good sleep. Thanks for popping in. Once again, thank you for the follow. If my cat lets me. Oh, I get you. I really do like the uh, casino like horses here. There we go. Yo! No big. No big. Oh my god, we're all dying. You love to see it. Doink, doink. How oh, I? Okay, my punchy bags have a little mind of their own. I've always been curious to play the Wii version of this game. Like I know it's practically the same thing. I'm just curious as to how I'd play with the motion controls. Or the DS variant of this game, which is very crusty. I mean, Very works. crusty. It do it's work, a, though. It's like a mobile version of this game. Oh, God, that's right. Hey, I got my choo-choo thing. Hey, you got the choo-choo rocket. Let's see it. I think I'll play as Banjo and Kasumi next and try to, like, screw myself up on purpose. Damn, sandbagging, are we? What oh. the hell? Why? I got my all-star back. <laughs> Apparently, you... Who guess? Baby takes a nasty one. You can't phrase it like that, Mr. Commentator Guy. There we go. All of that and Shadow's still ahead. Phew. Oh, he got hit by some. Shield, shield, shield. There we go. Pokemon Insurgents, okay. Pokemon Resurgence? You've been, have you been on that for the last half an hour? Yes, I have. Oh my <laughs> god, the amount of dedication. I was wondering what you were up to. <laughs> it, it was gonna bother me if I didn't figure it out. So... What? It, it, the, the fan game that is really, 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 really effing good that I actually w think is better than actual official Pokemon games, Pokemon Insurgents. Heck yeah. Also, to answer the one question, Bird Up is basically, um, it's more so a meme 
that stems from the, the original voice lines from the Eric Andre show, but then the actual, like, animation that goes with it is from an animator who makes a bunch of funny uh, animations. Monster Hunter bird. What bird up actually means is a great question. You just bird up. Bird up. <laughs> you mean you haven't heard? Heard what? No, Brian, don't. Bird up. There we go. Let's see. So just remember something. It's a good thing I never took a thing from Amazon where they took... Sorry, where they took bought my employment for me because then I couldn't stream and make money with Twitch. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah, Terminal Montage. That's it. I couldn't think of the name. My bad. Yeah, Ter <laughs> Terminal Montage. I love their videos. I love my cat, but uh, sometimes she's just... Uh, I don't want to say annoying, but yeah, a bit. That's fair. I mean, pets, pets can be annoying every now and no, then, to be fair. Oh, I actually just punched my microphone. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. I hate how each character has their different startup. It didn't really throws me off my game. But this way you just learn shadow. I remember that. Samba, can you not do that, I? I? Oh. Go ahead and charge the sucker up. There we go. Ba 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 ba. Go, oh, Tails is flying high. Go, me, go, go, me, go. There we go. Bonk. That's another balloon, I deserve that. Good god, who's in the lead? Amy, no. Amy, yes. Ow. Shoot another one. Kill her. That's Wait, actually, I mean, stop her, not kill her. <laughs> kill Amy Rose. <laughs> Quick, kill her. It's my, it's my favorite thing about this game that I'm said never makes a reappearance. The fact that if you're boosting, you don't take any damage from any stage obstacles. Oh, yeah. Quite interesting. It's funny, because you just get to pile drive through robots. Yeah. Like egg ponds and whatnot. Well, I say like egg boosting, ponds. Like in a Sonic game. It makes sense. We wish you removed the boost button. No. There she is in the background. In the awesome Queen. Game Go ahead and throw a rainbow back there. I don't know how much of a stop people, but... Up a rainbow back there. Like, let's see if this stops anybody. Eggman, like, stops dead in his tracks on it with his vehicle. And you just kind of look in your rearview mirror and go, The nerve! And you turn around. <laughs> you just kind of drop the rainbow behind you, and then you look in your rearview mirror and you just see a recreation of Sonata. Oh my god. <laughs> I need that one meme where it's me doing the I'm reading meme. Look what you guys doing back there. Oh. Do I have enough for what I want to buy now? Probably not. Huh. Ba -da -ba -da. Some day me go. That's missions. We're gonna go oh, to shopping. Okay. I can buy this one. Ah! I wish to buy everything before I am done. We're gonna be here a while. Try a couple of the missions out. I'll try out a few of my favorites. So, 
I remember hating this one. Yeah. But I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, that's right. They don't let you pick your character. They kind of give you a character of said mission. Okay. Yeah. Which I think I think is a good idea, and I like a lot of the story reasons as to why these missions are going on. Yeah. All right. I think like, there's a there's a race mission towards the end where the entire mission is um. A, a race between Sonic and Shadow to prove who's the fastest. Oh yeah. The issue is, is that they're playing a Shadow, which means that if this game is considered canon in any sense, then that means that technically... Got some hot takes today, I see. I, I'm just, I'm going off what the game says. I'm sorry. Sega, you got some hot takes? I always have hot takes, and people don't like my opinions, but guess what? <laughs> I forgot the part where I give a fuck. I forgot the part where that's my problem. Exactly. Man, I remember this being a pain in the butt back then. Did you do this as a child? I did this when I was 13, yeah. But that'll be the reason why then. <laughs> I was not good when I was 13. When I thought I was. You weren't a mature gamer yet, boy. Yeah, I forgot the part where I asked. Exactly. They gave me 800? That sounds bad. Let's do... That's ah, the next mission. Alright, what you gonna throw at me, game? Your steamed hams. Mmm, steamed hams. Steamed hams. Oh. I'm still proud of the steamed hams performance I gave. Dave is pretty good. It was awesome. I tried looking up to see if the Q&A was up on YouTube, but I don't think anyone recorded it. Aww. Granted, the creator was saying don't record it, because it, everything he was saying was like, don't don't tell WB. <laughs> yes. yes. For Shadow. You want to know like, what my favorite detail about this entire game is? What's that? So, there's a gallery menu where you can look at everything you've unlocked, including listen to the music individually. Shadow's so uh, good. Look at character bios as well, right? And every character bio has a tab that shows what they like. And obviously, like the majority of them, you know, it makes sense. Like, you know, so like Chili Dogs, Amy's is like. Yeah. Her reading and like ice cream or something. You want to know what Shadow's like is on the tab? What's that? Nothing. nothing. Yeah, I think he doesn't like anything. Literally, word nothing. We're, we're gonna look through the descriptions later because I love reading the descriptions. It's so dumb. It's really dumb, but I love it. What does Shadow like? Nothing. You can rarely tell that we're in the error of his <laughs> writing. <laughs> he is in misery. Exactly. So was I. Let's go. Let's go. The time has come and I Dude, have not. Now that I'm playing a Shadow. Even though I'm goofing it right now. Um, <laughs> he's freaking great in this game. Yeah, he's got like the fastest turbocharged build. He does the fastest stunts as well. Like, I'm just so going. You, you get like a level 3 stunt. Look at that. Where the, like, you just can't. You're just cruising. Exactly. He just is the best character in this game. And then I'll use the boost there to just gain my other boost, right? There we go. You can chain <laughs> boosts together so easily. It's so nice. Shadow likes liking nothing. His favorite thing is not liking anything. That's his character. That's what forms him. So, behold my power. He's got like oh, rainbow on the side of his freaking motorcycle. I assume that's a lighting issue. It's cool. It's funny. It is funny. Actually, let's ex exit to the menu. I kind of want to read some of the descriptions right now before I forget. This is also the game that like canonically explains why Sonic uses a car. However, Vegeta likes things. Yeah, he does. Exactly, which further proves my theory that Shadow is not Vegeta. Shut the fuck. <laughs> People like to say that. It's like they're they are like trust me when I say it, Jason. They are completely different characters. Yes, they can be anti heroes at times. Uh, Shadow can be a really good guy sometimes. He can be anti hero. He can be a bad guy. Vegeta's the same way. But outside of that. They are different characters, for the love of God. Exactly. See, Vegeta loves women, and he loves Bulma, so... Shadow loves men. 
<laughs> Shadow loves men. Raw. <laughs> 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 It's my license. It's my Sega <laughs> license with Banjo on it. I love that. Oh, it's so good. Collection. Here we go. So we can actually like read the descriptions. Here we go. Oh my god, there's a lot to delve into here. Yeah. She had a death from my bed. I'm finally able to sleep. I don't want to stay awake forever. No sleep would kill me. Yeah, no, get the sleep. Sleep is important. Get that sleep. All right. Species Hedgehog First Appearance Sonic the Hedgehog 1991 Likes Running Adventure and Chili Dogs Skills Supersonic Running Speed Vehicle The Speed Star All Star Move Supersonic Sonic is the world's fastest hedgehog capable of running at the speed of sound 768 miles per hour His other abilities include a spin attack a spin dash and his supersonic transformation which makes him indestructible and gives him the gift of run light <laughs> sonic is not an expert swimmer but is fearless even of dr eggman alongside his best friend tails sonic runs around the world stopping dr eggman's schemes he drives the speed star a car built by his friend tails <laughs> it helps to make a fair race as no one could beat sonic on foot that is the reason why he drove the car to make thank you yeah have a good night silver thanks for popping in what Oh, their username is Silver7906. I was like, nah, hang on. I, I'm just calling them Silver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Wolfboy says, Hey, Lunar, out of Curie, or out of your friends, who would you cast as Silver? You can't pick yourself. Myself. <laughs> I mean, if it makes you feel any better, Lunar, I will defend the future. Yeah, but I can't really cast anyone else as him, because, I mean... Your Zonic, I can't really cast you as anyone else besides you, can I? You probably could. <laughs> I think of who would be a good silver in our group. I Me. Think... No. Besides <laughs> you, on... well, I think I think Wolfboy meant hypothetically. Yeah, like if you had picked somebody other than you, like yeah, the second choice like... that that makes you feel any better. Yeah, this means I'm gonna pick who I want to smooch, and I don't want to do that in front of you. Okay, everyone. so next description. Exactly. Let's see, Tails. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you feel is most like Silver? Ooh. As a character? Mmm. Me. Is this sound I'm gonna have to actually bring up my friend our friends list here just to get, get an idea with my eyes? Yeah. Um I would say probably Matthew. Yeah. I'm just gonna myself. say if not Matthew. I can see a younger version of myself being more like Silver, because I was a bit more naive at one point. I'm less naive now. And naive is a Silver thing, everybody. I'm not calling them that to be funny. They they literally say that in 06 several times. He's a naive okay. guy. Oh, but... yeah, I know. Silver's a naive fucking man-child. <laughs> Wanna know why? His wife there, can't there's, say. there's a five-letter word for what Silver, silver is, and it begins with a T. <laughs> I'm <a> toddler. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's all five letters. I don't That's care. Tanks. <laughs> it is oh, now. Oh, Take out one oh, of the D's. You can see Sora. Um. No. I don't know what Sora is. Sora's. Sora's Sora. <laughs> Sora. 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 I'm definitely not as naive as uh as I like. I was naive. Everyone's naive at some point in their life. I think, but like. That level of like, I can't do it, I've got morals, you know, you aim for what you want. Actually, now I'm starting to hit myself. Let me use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some people say I could probably play a good Knuckles because the whole like hot headed thing, but like, I'd say only a portion of Knuckles. Yeah. I'm more, I'm definitely more Sonic esque, which obviously, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I will entertain like, chat for you while you're gone. It's like this gone. door was made for me. Fun out! It's like this door was made for you, you just punch it open. <laughs> Alright, let's get chat up. Let's have a look. What are we looking at? Sora is Sora. Hello, Trixie. Yes, yes they are. But Sora is Sora. If Sora is Sora, then who is Sora? If not Sora, Sora. Trixie would be rude. Hey. 
I thought Natsu would. Hmm. Kinda? God damn it. Do I really give root vibes? No, but I mean, you could. That's why, that's why I say kinder and not flat no. So weird. Yeah, it's because Trixie's a thief, Flame Crystal. She do a steal. Say, I was gonna say, you gotta be careful with who you say you are, because ever since Looter said whoever it would be is the person they would smooch, I'm like, exactly, I, I, yeah. I, I, am treading on, I am treading on eggshells at this point. <laughs> yeah, you are sweating bullets, huh? Yeah. I would say Trixie, to me, is more of a... Probably basic. I can see your owl being more like Amy. I mean, I, whatever works. That's, I I don't know, that's just my take, I can, though. I can see it. I can see it 100%. Because she, she's got that very, like, sweet personality, but, like, if she needs to snap at you, she's got her hammer. Oh, like, yeah. I, I can see it. And I mean that in a good way. Like, you're ready to go if you have to go. Oh, no, Trixie will throw hands if she absolutely has to. Was Zinni be Shadow or Espio? Zenny Zenny will be Espio. Espio? A hundred percent Espio. I can't say Shadow, because I love Shadow just as much as Silver. <laughs> Stop being biased. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> no, actually, hmm, I think Zenny would be a mixture of Tikal and Shadow. I can see it. I can see it. She's Thank really you. a Julie Sue, really. A Ju like, Sorry, like, I know Julie comics. I know delving into the comics can just be a whole other realm, but like, I feel like that fits best. Julie Ju Sue and Shadow. Thank you. But like, if we're go if we're gonna boil it down to just the video games, uh, bring to call back in, yeah. Okay, if, if we're going on just video game characters, then a mixture of to call and shadow. Right. Yeah, because I was if, uh, yeah, because I was gonna say if we're bringing in like comics, I'm Mega Man. I mean, <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. If, if we're bringing in, bring in <laughs> other games, then I'm Pac Man from something. I'm I'm Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> I'm Banjo Kazooie from. <laughs> That's mine! <laughs> oh, yeah, it says right there on your Sega license. Yeah, it's on my Sega license, you frick. Hello, Matthew. Oh my god, Matthew started Matthew. his dominance in front of the screen. Race car, Matthew. Race car. Oh, hi. How how hard was the sugar rush come off in thing? Words. How hard was it to come off your sugar rush? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Matthew right here, everybody. Just that sound, like, it's really big there in the middle of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, Lunar can vouch for it. I actually did, like, crash really hard last night at, like, yes. 3 a.m. Yes, Oh, did. no. Hey, you know what? If we have Matthew at that size, we can make it, like, a Smash Bros. thing. It'd be, like, Sonic, Natsuki, and Lunar versus Giant Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Matthew crashed hard. <laughs> oh, no. If it makes you feel any better, I don't remember anything from last night. <laughs> yeah, we were watching the Gmod video box and then you fell Yeah, I, th I think whatever episode we were on, that was it, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were watching Digimon last night? Uh, oh. it, it was called Idiot Box. We were watching were something like, called the Idiot Box. Yeah, I think they were like Gary's oh, Montag videos. I heard Digimon. <laughs> we, could, we could watch Digimon, but I feel like we'd have to invite Sora at that point. Um, God, I got so off track of what I was doing. Okay, so... But I haven't consumed any sugar today yet. 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 <laughs> so let's let's read the next description here. We got Tails the Fox, Miles Tails per hour. Species, Fox, first appearance Sonic 2. Isn't likes like machine He likes first, machines like, and mint brings candy. Up tails like mint candy. I love the mint candy. Um skills, tail propeller Maybe? flight, vehicle tornado <laughs> racer, tails tornado. I wish in the description Honestly, like... I wish in the description said uh, after building Sonic's uh, vehicle, window, Tails actually. would. Let me let me look. I wish after building Sonic's vehicle, uh, it, it would say like after building. Oh, Man, no, my words. Liking great That's what happens when everyone's dream. talking when I'm trying to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Is my mic not working? Uh oh. Can anybody else hear me? Really? Oh god. Oh god. 
Yeah, never mind. It's just not gonna can, tell me. Can you me. guys hear me? Probably because I can't type. Any, can you like, hear me now? Properly. Can I be heard? You could always just uh, copy paste. Hello. Hello. Uh, zero. Was I not heard there for a while? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why Discord wasn't picking me up. Um. Anyways, I'm sure everyone else in chat could hear me. Yeah, Flame Crystal can hear me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks. So it wasn't totally insane. Um, I was reading the description. So, oh uh, yeah, he likes mint candy, which I think is cool. But what I was gonna say was, what I'd like to say in the description, like, oh god, what I like as the description, I would like it if the description for Tails said, if you're building Sonic's vehicle, Tails went to work on his own. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it. 100%. Yeah, I could just see him building Sonic's first and then him building his own. Get some practice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, install uh, install a bomb in Sonic's car. So oh can... no! <laughs> it's it's that one meme where like you know the oh, I forget, I don't remember I think it's Zoolander I want to say but like it's like when the two people cross by each other and they look at each other yeah. like oh it's you it's yeah, like Zoolander. it's like when when Sonic blows up because of Wave and Sonic Riders and Tails like oh you know that was the extreme gear he gave Sonic and then Tails says it to Sonic Sonic just looks up at him like. You did that too. Tails drives by. Yeah, take that. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Tails is the one working on his car, not nine. 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 Sonic Prime. I don't know why that's been. Oh, uh, the uh, the joke uh, because you know since nine. Uh, oh. Since there wasn't a, a, a so since there wasn't a Sonic to protect nine. Correct. Um, nine is a lot more underhanded and twisted. Correct. He's an honorable and courageous friend in the face of danger. He teams up with his best friend Sonic and their other friends to help save the creatures of South Island from Dr. Eggman. Tails built his own plane, the Tornado Racer, from parts found after an attempt invasion by Dr. Eggman. Its short wing design allows it to execute sharper turns than ordinary airplanes. Alright, let's read so Amy's. Chat wanna know something funny about this game. I will not speak for chat. <laughs> <laughs> you finished Crash Bash 201%. Let's go. I didn't realize you had the 201% that game. Holy frick. What yeah. the is this? What the frick is this? Also, while, actually, if anyone would, wouldn't mind reading that description for me while I attempt to pay um, a commission. Wanna... Okay. One time I'll later. be right back. I'm going to make food. Okay. Yeah. The one-time leader of Team Rose, Amy and her friend pick the cut of no strangers to speed. She's always running after Sonic and in love with love, okay? It's quite a sentence. She's all about competition and speed, which is why a car, the pink cabriolet, is kitted out for speed and to look good. It's also designed to stay steady enough when she unleashes her lethal Pico Pico hammer. I don't I like that. Amy. You don't like Amy? I, well, I say I don't like Amy. I mean, like, the character's fine, I just don't, like care for her theme song. That's fair. Theme song depresses me. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Log in for registration. Oh, I don't know if I have any of these. I'll go with the... Actually, I'll go with this. So, my... Authorize. My, my fun fact about this game, right? So, yeah. during its development in the beta, the game had four characters. It had Tails in the Tornado, had Eggman in the Eggmobile, it had Gilius Thunderhead on the back of a giant turtle, and it had Sonic on foot. Yeah. And as you can tell, the reason why they changed that design is because Sonic on foot isn't a fair competition between a giant plane, a giant turtle, and a big mech. From like a racing standpoint, just like this tiny hedgehog against three <laughs> massive vehicles. And also because it wouldn't make sense from a story standpoint because he'd win every single race. <laughs> There we go. There's the Eggman one. I'm almost done. Man, the eggs. 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 I love Eggman in this game. Boink. I'll give you a happy meal. Do it. Give me money. Okay. Wait, now that's food. Wait, that's me... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm like not in the realm right now. <laughs> Let's step closer to blah, 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 blah. Nice. 
Cheers, mate. I'll drink to that. Oh, heck yeah. Probably <laughs> suffering from crippling liver failure. Yeah, cheers, bro. I'll drink to that. <laughs> If you didn't have a liver, would alcohol have repercussions? Mm. Yes, because it would still affect your brain. Mm. You're welcome. If you didn't have a brain, would alcohol... No, because you'd be dead. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that, everyone. I was doing something important-ish. 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 Matthew's getting his drink on. Oh, heck yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on. Oh. Alright, next next description. Species human. First appearance, Sonic the Hedgehog, 1991. Likes, robots, chaos emeralds, and power. Skills, extremely clever. Vehicle, egg monster. Also our move, missile madness. Sonic's arch enemy and a genius to boot. Dr. Eggman loves whipping up crazy robotic armies that look like him to help with his dastardly schemes. In his evil genius mind, he dreams of creating a place called Eggman Land, and he will destroy anyone who tries to stop him. Dr. Eggman's all-terrain vehicle, the Egg Monster, has, a, has large wheels and an extra high riding seat so he can look down on everyone as, oh, sorry, he overtakes and enjoy it. Yeah, Eggman's got wheel compensation for the record. Yeah, my favorite thing about Eggman <laughs> in this game is that he is like, in terms of stats, he has the highest top speed out of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Drink, you're not allowed to leak. Ow! There it is. There it is. <laughs> These character cards kind of make me think of the board game I have. Oh yeah. I wish I could play that. Let's see, Species Hedgehog vs. Parent Sonic Adventure 2, a classic. Likes, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Skills, Chaos Control, Vehicle, Dark Rider, All-Star Move, Super Shadow. Shadow is an artificial life form created by Dr. Eggman's grandfather. His initial hatred of Sonic has now developed into a friendly rivalry. Like Sonic, um, Shadow is about speed, Gerald. his acceleration, and spin attack. Coming from his rocket skates, with Chaos Emeralds, he can power up his Chaos Control and warp time and space. If he has all seven emeralds, he can transform into Super Shadow, which, like Sonic, makes him invulnerable and gives him run flight. Run Shadow flight? uses a modified gun motorcycle known as the Dark Rider. He's so cool. <clears throat> also, the likes nothing would and would be false because he does like Maria. Exactly. Yeah. True. Well, well yes, no, he doesn't. Do. No, he doesn't like Maria. He liked Maria. Yeah, he liked Maria. <laughs> Lego Dimension says <laughs> otherwise. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you have this one. <laughs> time to go zoom is zooming time. It's zooming time. Alright, next one. I I Species Monkey. First appearance, Super Monkey Ooh, Ball. Monkey. Likes bananas. Skills. Magical spell is I I poo. <laughs> Vehicle blazing banana. All-star move. Super monkey roll. I I a monkey hero who has a destiny to marry Mimi and be father to a baby boy called, wait for it, Baby. And his monkey ball, <laughs> I, I is fast, baby. nimble, and not too light. As the hero of Super Monkey Ball series, he must save both Jungle Island and Mimi from the wrath of the evil Dr. Baboon. In his spare time, he likes to eat bananas, spend time with his family, play games, and live easy. Respect. I, I and friends have tried to design the fastest banana ever, his car, the Blazing Banana. I like yeah. how it's like, his destiny is to marry Mimi and have children, but Dr. Baboon's like, no. <laughs> That's what uh, happens when the baby grows up. <laughs> God, it's so weird. The baby's from the future, and it's funny. They're also kind of boss baby-esque, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Species, Most human. First appearance, Billy Hatcher, the giant egg. Wait, he's not a chicken? He's not a chicken, he's a human. What? Oh, yeah. He's never he a human. Gets... No. No, he's a human that gets isekai <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, likes, friends, and adventures. Skills, egg hatching. Vehicle, racing rooster. All-star move, egg rodeo. 
Billy Hatcher is an inquisitive boy from the human world. After saving a helpless chick from a, an attack by crows, Billy and his friends are transported to Morning Land by the Chicken King. He really does kind of get isekai in a way. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> With the courage of bestowed upon him by the Chicken Elders, he dons the legendary rooster suit and embarks on a grand adventure to save Morning Land from Eternal Night. Billy must stop Dark Raven, or the darkness will spread to the human world. Billy's racing rooster car is highly maneuverable, so watch out. He may wear a rooster suit, but nobody calls this boy chicken. Hey, Sega, when are we getting Billy Hatcher 2? Ooh, we're getting one of my favorites. Like, the only thing missing that would truly make it an isekai is the fact that it's missing truck hunt. Hey, we got Big Matthew here. He's tall. Big. Species. I eat my vegetables. <laughs> Species, monkey. First appearance, Samba de Amigo, <laughs> likes Samba. Skills, Maracas, <laughs> vehicle, sun vehicle, buggy. Samba. Likes Samba. 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 It's in your name. Kind of. Samba, 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 Samba. Amigo is one Maraca wielding party loving monkey, along with the sister Amiga. Oh god, that's his sister, I forgot. My bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my bad. From what everything I was looking at, I had the wrong idea. Um, and their friends, Linda, Bingo, Bongo, Rio, Chumba, and Wamba. Amigo's life is a non-stop carnival, and more skillfully he shakes his maracas, the hotter the party gets. Amigo's car is built into a giant maraca. Keep an eye out on this guy. He's likely to break out the samba at any point. Guys, I ain't gonna lie. My whole life, I didn't think that was his sister, and now I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Given the fact one of the key <laughs> features in every Samba de Amigo is the love compatibility test, I understand. Yeah, like, like I honestly don't remember this card, so I it blocked out of my brain. All right, the Xbox Avatar. Species, human. First appearance, NXE 2008. Likes, the Xbox 360. <laughs> Skills, playing with friends. Vehicle, the AVA Car 720. Oh, the Shut wow. the frick up, Microsoft. You can't say 720 like that. You you listen here, you. <laughs> All-star move, party, party power. Out. The avatar is you. It likes what you like, wears what you wear, or wish you could wear, and does what you tell it to. Well, most of the time, anyway. The avatar 720 is the, or avatar, which I hate that play. It's a good day. The avatar's mod, I do love it, though. Uh, avatar's mode of transport, a sleek custom-built cart with all the mod cons. Uh, for those who don't know, I believe in the Wii version of All Stars Racing, say All Stars Racing, did it get the Mii? It did get it the did. Mii, right? Yeah, so it got yeah. the Mii, but the 360 version got Banjo and Kazooie. The Wii version, they tried fighting for Mario, which that didn't end up happening. And then yeah. I believe the PS3 version was to get, I believe, Ratchet and Clank? Um, but they also didn't get Ratchet and Clank. It's something like, something like that. Internally, they held like a pile of characters they wanted, and among the top runners was Mario. There was also Sigata Sanchero. Now you said Wombo for some reason. I almost said Humba Wombo. <laughs> like Wombo, <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, not there yet. I think the character who won the poll in the end was Knights, because of the, the whole, like, Save Knights campaign that was going on at the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a quote. I'm Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Let's freaking go. That's a fun <laughs> edit. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were talking, like, who we'd be in the comics. Let's see. <laughs> the 720 is twice the degrees of the, 360, of the Xbox 360. That's what they should have called it. Yeah, do, do you remember, do you remember the, the old leaks of the Xbox 720? Yes. <laughs> How many characters do we have left? Okay. Yes. All right, time, time for one of my personal favorites, Banjo and Kazooie. Species, Honey Bear. First appearance, Diddy Kong Racing, which is said on this game. Likes, wow. Kazooie, Skills, Plays the Banjo, Vehicle, Bolt Bucket, All-Star Move, Jiggy Rain. Banjo and Kazooie are adventurous bear and bird duo, always on hand to thwart the schemes of their nemesis, the rhyming hag Gruntilda. Banjo himself is a big, aimable, uh, wait, aimable honey bear? I'm Polite I'm and well-mannered in stark contrast to the red crest Brigal Kazooie who lives in his backpack. Loud, sarcastic, and rude, Kazooie's inability to keep her beak shut often lands the pair in trouble. Together, they race in the Bolt Bucket, a quirky vehicle custom-built by their long-standing ally and real wizard in the garage, Mumbo Jumbo. I feel tingly all over. 
I just love how that's mentioned it. First of all, a few wins here. First appearance, City Kong Racing. That being said, in a Sonic the Hedgehog game, mm -hmm. that is such a big deal for me. And the fact, like, Diddy Kong Racing was, like, my start to my YouTube channel in terms of, like, the games I played. Mm -hmm. So all this is special to me here. It's all one little spot. It's on my tie. It's on <laughs> my tie. <laughs> my favorite thing, like, about this panel card in terms of, like, the likes and stuff is that it explicitly implies that it's entirely implying it's for Banjo and not the pair of them together. Yeah. It's like Banjo likes Kazooie. Yeah, Kazooie likes like. Kazooie, but it's called Banjo and Kazooie. Exactly, yeah. It's kind of biased towards Banjo every time it is. Because we ain't driving. Remember reading somewhere the PS3 was supposed to get Sackboy, but I don't know if that was true or not. It, yeah, there was like rumors going around where like I heard Ratchet and Clank, but I think I do remember them also saying Sackboy, which when you think about it, Sackboy would have made sense because Sumo Digital covered these games and they did Little Big Planet. Oh my God, why didn't they put Sackboy in? That's bullfrog. Because they didn't have that property yet. <laughs> the first, the first two were developed by Medium Molecule. And I actually they didn't want to do Little Big Planet three, so they gave it to Sumo to didn't continue realize the series. That. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, okay. That makes more sense. I'm less mad. <laughs> Wait. What likes Kazooie? So if you go into the Banjo and Kazooie description, uh, this is my third time now. Um, it says that Banjo and Kazooie. Well, Banjo, I guess, likes Kazooie. That's the liked thing here. Um, now we have Knuckles. If Very only comes. Banjo species on the card. Like, yeah, that's right. It does ju kind of just say bear, yeah. I love the fucking Honey bear. species for Knuckles. It's so biased. Oh, wait, let's see Knuckles. Species, Echidna <laughs> slash Spidey Anteater. First <laughs> appearance, Sonic Hedgehog 3, 1994. Likes fruit, especially grapes, but he does like fruit in general. Skills, yeah. punching, digging, and climbing. Vehicle, the land breaker. All-star move, emerald power. Knuckles is the guardian mm -hmm. of the Master Emerald, which gives Angel Island its power to float in the sky. He is the last of the Akindas, the island's native people. His name comes from his powerful fists, which allow him to punch through rock and make him a skilled burrower, burrower uh, and climb. He can also use his dreadlocks to glide for short distances, which is something you mentioned in a previous stream. Yes. Um, he drives a tough little all-terrain vehicle called the Landbreaker. He's also ironically really good in this game. Yeah. Oh, I, I, lo I love the things. toys they had for Knuckles when Jazz wears did them. With his, I like, have one. Oh, yeah. I have them, yeah. 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 My only complaint with every toy I've ever had of Knuckles is they make his head adjustable, but you can never really move his head because his arms get stuck in his dreadlocks. Yes. Oh, my God. True. It's one of the funniest things about it. Species, feline, first appearance, Sonic Adventure 1988. So that they're going by the Japanese uh, times, by the way. Yeah. Uh, likes Froggy. Skills Fishing. Vehicle Green Hopper. All Star Move Giant Froggy. Big as a large purple long eared cat. He's laid back, easy going, and has a gentle nature despite his proge or proge prejudiced. Pro prejudiced. Almost wanted to say prejudiced. Yeah. Uh, strength. He loves to fish and is never without his trusty rod. He lives in the jungle near the Mystic Ruins. Thank you. With his best friend Froggy, a small green frog with a pointed tail. Big's adventures often involve him trying to find Froggy, who has a tendency to get himself lost or swallow a Chaos Emerald. <laughs> Big's motorbike is called the Green Hopper. The bike may be small, but Big's size makes sure he won't be easily pushed around. You know, you say that. All right, we got Beat from Jet Set Radio. Species Human. First appearance, Jet Set Radio 2000. Likes break him with a stick. Do it. Okay. Uh, put put like a crowbar in between his skates and watch him fall. <laughs> kind of like that video we saw. I'm thinking of that yeah. video we saw last night. Um, skills: skating and street art. Vehicle: Dala Customs G. Oh yeah, Dala Customs GGs. Uh, All star move: tag jamming. Beat was a young Rudy who ran away from home to join one of the gangs of Tokyo Two. He impressed fellow Rudy's Gum and Tab with his skating and graffiti skills in Shibuya Bus Station and joined as a member of the gang, the GGs. Beat spends his time skating around fighting for turf with rival gangs by making, sorry, marking his territories with graffiti and eradicating others' tags. This attracts the attention of the police, Captain Onishima and his SWAT team who relentlessly pursue Beat and his friends. Beat drives a heavily custom street car with all the extras, including an extra base system and neon extra underlight. Extra base system. Base system. 
Pulse, that's your DJ. I think it's kind of funny how like he's he's a skater boy and yet he's driving a car. Said, I was gonna say he's his all star. Thank you. Has, um, his all star is him skating down the road. If Moby Matthew is giant, would he not just be average human height, or is he larger than that? I would say scaled. Uh, so the scaling on the screen right now is kind of fricked. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we go by the scaling on this, I'm about three times my height, which would mean I'm about around nine feet tall. So I would be taller than an average human. Frick, dude. You're not wrong. If we're going by that scaling, you're not wrong. Ooh la la, species, human. First appearance, Space Channel 5, 1999. Likes, reporting and dancing. Skills, groovy energy. Vio Can I have that? Can I have that skill? Uh, vehicle, <laughs> Astro Glider. All-star like move, energy. tension blast. Ooh la la, was orphaned at an early age in a spaceship accident in which she was the sole survivor. She was rescued from the void of outer space by a Space Channel 5 reporter, and 10 years later, she's now their top reporter. She shot to fame when she confronted the morally Mor Morleans, who imprisoned humans and forced them to dance against their will. She outdanced them at the same time as presenting her swinging report show. What a gal! Willa La races in her astro glider, a kind of floating pod. She is also time. friends with Space Michael Jackson. Yes, and yes. that's canon. <laughs> I, I love it. This was also the era of Sega where they tried to aggressively bring back Ula La into everything they can. Yeah. Let's see, BD Joe, species, human, first appearance, crazy taxi, 1999, likes, making people smile, skills, crazy stunts, vehicle, crazy taxi, uh, who would have guessed, all-star move, crazy boost, always friendly, it's a crazy, yeah, let's see, four crazies are in there, at the top, always friendly and cheerful, that's BD Joe, he's at his happiest when he can bring a smile to the face of his, of the customers in his crazy taxi, after giving them a complete utter heart attack, I'm sure. BD Joe is master of driving and talking, but that's not all. He can drum with just about anything, and he's not too sloppy at card tricks either. Anything to help fill other people's days with something a little special. He drives a customized yellow cab with the plate number 2Hop260. 2Hop to go, is what it's saying. C, he's always, uh, he always gets ready to uh, get things moving. Okay. I love BD Joe. And this Here's one's, a question. Yeah. Uh, who would you say is the main character of Crazy Taxi? Uh, <laughs> on a technicality, as of now, I'm going to say BD Joe. It's kind of funny because they really try to play it off as that green-haired guy, which I don't remember the name of. Axel. Axel. Hey, yeah. I did remember. So let's go. Um, yeah, Axel's like the first character you can select, but they've been representing the games with BD Joe. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say BD Joe, but I would have thought Axel. I was gonna say, the, like, I, I personally say BD Joe, the only thing to me that would slightly put Axel over him is the fact that Axel has a cameo in Sonic Colors and BD Joe doesn't, but that's it. <laughs> and please Sonic have Colors. a remake of Crazy Taxi. Yeah, there's, um, please. you know Eggman's PA system that's like in the background of every level? Yeah. There's one where he's talking about a car's about to get crushed by a meteorite, and while he's reporting it, the car it, it, it gets crushed. And the number <laughs> that he reports for the vehicle is the same as Axel's. Oh, okay. I never knew that. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. It's fun. He's like, could the owner of this car come out? Your vehicle is currently oh, in the an asteroid. One. And, oh, uh, it depends as if your vehicle's been crushed by a meteorite. Sorry. <laughs> so we got Zobia and Zobiko from a Japanese most... exclusive House of the Dead thing, which, once again, yeah. we got this game in the States. Like, Sonic and Sega all just racing, but we didn't get Zobio and Zobiko. But then Japan's got Zobio and Zobiko, but they never got Sonic and Sega all just racing. I was gonna say, <laughs> this is the most obscure character in the whole game, and it's so entirely screwed, especially because, like, not only Wait, are this... these guys... Like, this game never only... released in Japan? No. Ah, uh, to... from what somebody told me, no. What? It's like, not only are these characters Japanese, it's still from the game never released in Japan, but... This is this will be the first time anyone's ever seen House of the Dead in Germany. Huh. Oh yeah, that is true. You were telling me about that. Yeah. Let's see. Species X Human. First appearance. House of the <laughs> Dead <laughs> EX. 2008. Likes. Zobio or Zobiko, which now we're getting biased again in Zobio talking about this. Uh, they like Zobiko, Apples, Zobio, Zobiko. Whatever the frick that means oh no it's it's it means zobiko likes apple apples but zobio likes zobiko oh yeah. so they didn't be biased here so okay, they, they I, could I, have done I, banjo kazooie I, like this but they didn't banjo kazooie 
Banjo likes Kazooie. <laughs> Kazooie likes Banjo. <laughs> oh, Banjo was kind of a second thought, I'm thinking. That's okay. Uh, skills, running away. Vehicle, hot rod of horror. All-star move, runaway love. Herzobio, oh, sorry. Herzobio, what am I saying? Uh, he, Zobio, was a prison guard. She, Zobiko, was an inmate thrown into jail by a mad doctor. Zobio decided to break out Zobiko so they could start a new life together, but either of them e uh, ever really be free? Will either of them ever be free? Uh, they race in their hot rod of horror, a turbocharged, armor-plated monstrosity. Here we go. married and race and transform. Yeah, Ryo. Ryu. This is the, uh, the second best S character in the game. Species Human. First appearance, Shinmu, 1999. Likes Nozomi Harasaki. Skills, Great Martial person. Arts. Vehicle, Nyozuki's <laughs> Motorcycle? No, you can. Uh, All-Star Move, Working Man. Uh, Ryo <laughs> dropped out of Yokosuka High School to embark on an epic journey to avenge his father's seemingly senseless murder, which they mentioned murder here. Trained in a martial arts and driven by ra revenge, he hunts his father's killer, Lan Di, and seeks the dragon mirror that Lan Di took. Uh, Ryo can call upon the help of many childhood and family friends, in particular, Nozomi... Wait, Nozomi... Harasaki. Harasaki, who harbors a deep love for Ryo. Is it Ryo or Ryu? Because I swear it's Ryu. Ryo. Ryo? Ryo? Okay. Uh, but Ryo's quest will always take precedence for him. Ryo's wheels are a motorcycle he borrowed from his close friend, Nyaoyuki Ito? Yes. Then we got, I believe, Jackie, Bryant, and Akira Yuki. The virtual fighter character. Human. If, yeah? If they make another Sega All-Stars anything, really, whether it be racing or something else they want to do. Yeah. Do you think there'll be a Yakuza represent? represent yes. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Listen, I'm <laughs> expecting a Yakuza represented. I'm expecting a Persona represented. Yeah, Persona will be in there. Either They're either going to include a Xenomorph or Bayonetta, one of the <laughs> two. A Xenomorph would be funny. <laughs> Any nice nation, it, they could. Yeah. I can see Bayonetta also getting in. Yeah, one of the two. And uh, put Banjo and Kazooie back in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Back Species Human, first appearance, Virtual Fighter, 1993. Likes, race car driving and training. Skills, Jeet Kune Do, wait, Jeet, Jeet Kune, Kune, Do. Kune Do, and I'm not even about to try that. Akiyoko Ken. <laughs> Thank you. Vehicle, Red <laughs> Lighting, All-Star Move, Virtual Fight. Jackie's a skilled race car driver and a powerful martial artist. He was once seriously injured in a racing accident and took two years to recover from his injuries. During that time, he discovered a mystery group was behind his crash, and it was no accident. He believes his same group is responsible for the disappearance of his sister, Sarah, but will never learn the truth of the Second World <laughs> Fighting Tournament. He strives for perfection and trains relentlessly. He is currently the master of Yuki. It's not like Udukan. I think like car again. How? <laughs> is that a... Hang on, because... Yeah, no, the stream is hearing me, so that's a Discord thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going, everybody. I don't care. <laughs> going on to the next one. You all will hear me. Sonic, we can't I, hear you. I don't care. I can be heard on the stream. I care a little bit. I'll Sonic! I know. <laughs> I know. I know I can be heard. I'm able to be heard on stream. <laughs> And that's what matters. <laughs> All right. Sonic. You can Sonic. still hear me, right? Sonic. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Species, human. First appearance, Bonanza Bros. 1990. Likes, puzzles, and treasure. Skills, stealth. Vehicle, get a way wagon. All-star move, blimp strike. Mobo and Robo are a pair of burglars. Yes. Put the Bonanza Brothers on Switch. Who target a bank, a mansion, a casino, a mint, an art gallery, and a treasury on their crime spree. With a combination of stealth and slapstick, they escape with all the loot in their trusty blimp. Racing in their getaway wagon, they're sure to have plenty of sneaky tricks under the hood. 
it's one of my favorite missions in this game. It's just yeah. it's dedicated entirely to just blowing people up with their uh, all stuff. Yeah, we got three left. Species, space mice. First appearance, Choo Choo Rocket, 1999. Likes, rockets, skills, rocketeering. Vehicle, Choo Choo Rocket. All-star move, Catwalker. The Choo Choo's are cute space mice who use their super quick rockets to escape the jaws of the hungry space cats known as Capu Capus. The Choo Choo's race in a Choo Choo Rocket modified for maximum horizontal pro proclusion. Propulsion. Propulsion. Yeah. I'm sorry, I put the U, I put the L in front of the U. Uh, while comfortably seating uh, for Choo Choo's for a cat and mouse uh, chaos in space. Have you ever played Choo Choo Rocket? Yes. Yes. On the Apple TV. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Species unknown. First appearance, Fantasy Zone, 1985. Uh, likes, shopping, skills, weapons. Uh, <laughs> vehicle, Opa Opa himself. Also our move, Fantasy oh. Thorn. Opa Opa is a sentient spacecraft battling to stop the planet Minon from stealing the other planet's currency to build a huge fortress. In winning this battle, Opa Opa hopes to restore peace to the Fantasy Zone. Opa Opa can, however... I've had, a, I've had a stroke, everybody. <laughs> uh, can, hover, can hover and fly using its wings or sprout feet to walk on the ground. Opa Opa can, however, fly. <laughs> Opa Opa, however, can. <laughs> uh, Alex Kid, Species, Aryan, I guess. Uh, first uh, appearance, Alex Kid in the Miracle World, 1986. Likes, Jenkin and Rice Balls. Uh, skills, Shell Core. Vehicle, Suko Paco Motorcycle. All-Star Move, Pedicopter. Uh, Alex Kidd spent seven years living on Mount Eternal on planet Ares, studying Shell Core, an ancient art of shattering rocks with bare fists. Alex is a prince of planet Ares, son of King Thunder and twin brother of Prince Egel. Yes. Uh, Alex must stop the evil Jenkin the Great and his minions from up or sorry usurping so his father. I said uprising. I swear to God, I, I <laughs> this text is like small for me or something because I'm like having to squint for it. Uh, However, his father. I'm... However, <laughs> uh, battles are fought with his with a best of three game of rock paper scissors. Alex's vehicle of choice is Sukopako motorcycle. Don't underestimate his small but very nimble motorbike. That's everybody. Uh, fun fact, did you know Alex Kidd was actually supposed to be Son Goku? It's bronze now. Yes. Uh, yes. Which does make sense. If you count, Wait, like, OG, like... Uh, yeah. Sure, Matthew, you are, yeah, yeah, there you go, the you license. You like my Sega license? <laughs> I do. It's nice. <laughs> Wonderful. Hello, Blue Speed. Welcome. Achievements, which I believe just brings up your... Oh, no. Yeah, as its own game achievements. Captain Silver, get there. I used to have everything back then. This is a different, yeah. uh, different account, I, I guess. I think I only had two achievements that I didn't get when I rented the 360 version of this game, and I think they both required online play. Yeah, yeah, which I don't know how that's gonna go about now. They're not in this game. Oh, okay. This game just doesn't have online. <laughs> it's dead. Will I have returned with food? Welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I just realized the circles around. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of achievements. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really fun on the list. Wow. Uh, I've seen these before. Let's go back to single player. We'll do single race. I'm going to try something. We're going to play as Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> oh, the game. And then we're going to go. I don't want to. Can I get the info on these? Yes. Like your final fortress. What? It's a good track. Yeah. <laughs> I just backed on Tyra. Okay. I would like go make a point. <laughs> Which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah. Is it the good final cool. fortress though? I don't All like jumble jungle. I don't like jumble jungle. Yeah, that's fair. Monkey little Which... stages are a bit of a pain to traverse. <laughs> they really are. What, which truck are you looking for? Casino Park, Seaside Hill, the record holder from Zobi and Zobico. I don't care for the desert, so frick that one. I backed out again. 
God <laughs> dang it. <laughs> I think of the B button, it's the X button. Sit down in the chat. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so this one. This is one I technically did win earlier. What are the courses? Tokyo 2? Eh, it's gotta see set. Wait, am I on the right thing? You have all of them. But no, one. I'm drunk. Holy frick. Hold on now. Where am I? You good. Whoa. What are you doing? I don't know what I did. I gotta oh, get out of here. <laughs> However, you doing? I don't know. I don't he know. Back out. Oh, I hit single race. I was looking for Grand Prix. No wonder I'm drunk. Oh my god. I was like, how much does this cup have? Thing is. Oh my god, I'm out of it. What the heck? Okay, expert mode. I want to try an expert mode. Oh, I've not touched any of these. I've not touched any expert modes on this file. Alright, time oh. to try it. Here we go. I should Oof. probably downsize Matthew. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. I'll buddy. be... Here I need go. to see... Here, we'll still have you kind of big. Does that block? That kind of blocks. We'll put you right there. They call it Seaside Hill. But I'm, I'm taller than Matthew. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a hologram. Exactly, so I can adjust my height. Deleted. And that's why I'm tall. Ah! <laughs> If, if I am my shadow, hands were any faster, I'd just the call, but, uh... There we go. Look at him go! He's got such a boost. He does! I am Shadow the Hedgehog. I, we were talking about this earlier before you got here, Matthew, but we like the one, one... Or, we like the one clip where Shadow goes, Uh, who, who am who I, and how do you know my, you know my name? name? Or, who are you? Is it who are you? Yeah, who are you, and how do you know my name? Which he says at the very start of the race to absolutely nobody. <laughs> it's just because, like, obviously this is the era of games where they were reusing voice lines, and all of Shadow's lines are taken from Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because, obviously, without the proper context, he sounds like he's insane. Yeah. Which, uh, Which fun fact, because Shadow. of that, uh, this is not Mike Pollock as Eggman. It is not. Yes. Because they took his adventure lines. Yes. It's very Please. weird too how they did that. Getting his famous. No way. It's also, I believe. Um, well, you know, I kind of wanted an item. It's also, I believe, Jason Griffith's last performance as Sonic and Shadow, technically. When did this come? Two thousand nine. Because um, okay, after that we got Sonic Four Episode One, and that's voice acting less. Sonic uses in um, those six lines. Yeah. Yeah. In, uh, <coughs> that's what confuses me as well, because Eggman uses his 06 lines in Super Stars Tennis as well. You mean the Super Shadow? Come on. Dang, came out in 2010, so yeah, this is uh, Jason's last run of Sonic. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't even make new voice lines for it. <laughs> yeah. His last appearance was just reused voice clips. So if you go by that, I think Sonic and the Black Knight was his last. No, Amigo got it. We had three start. Yeah, his dead. last recorded line is, 80, is uh, Amy beating him up over uh, forgetting his date. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of a nice way to go out, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember now. So, obviously, as we all know, Holy 6 is a very unfinished match, right? rocks and one of the things included in the file that never made it into the full game was that metal sonic was planning to be part of the game at some point yeah. um god it was metal sonic though like, like when you when you look go. at eggman's army compared to well, like how it is in 06 with all the different robot designs and like Chaos you spear you compare that to how Metal Sonic looks, it's just kind of like, okay, this is like a completely different total weapon class, right? Yeah. Well, in Sega Superstars Tennis, um, there's uh, a court at the Scrap Brain Zone, 
and not only does it have the 06 robot stood on it, um, but it also has Metal Sonic on the side. So Sega Superstars Tennis is the only time you get to see Metal Sonic and the 06 robots together. Fair enough. Mm. There we go. He's just so going. <laughs> uh oh. But it just makes me think of the thing that I find hilarious is uh, in the instruction book for 06, there's a description for the uh, bubble power up, but it is yeah, not the shield. anywhere in the game. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of that rocket. Get that out of here. It was just like, so there's a shield power up right here. Team Rose in the lead here. Did you lie? There we go. Which makes me wonder if it's even in the game at all. Dude, they're really in the lead. I, mean, I imagine it would be because like, one of Sonic's gems is a um, shield. Yeah. Can I have Super Shadow again? No. Nope. Close are you, Sonic? Get out of here. Uh oh. Uh oh. You take what you can get. We take those. Don't worry, I'll win the next three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting a lot on that, jeez. And Shadow there really just told Sonic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you have that? <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, I'm the fastest, Shadow. Honk, honk. <laughs> I'm the fastest shadow. No, -uh. <laughs> no. <-uh. laughs> oh, that was good. Wait, Matthew. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a sentence right. And when, when I finish it, can you, can you play the noise again? Yeah. Man, you think you messed around because you dead ass felt like a. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got I got one for you, so you can play the honk noise if you don't mind. All right, my hey. All right, I got I got one. I got one for you. Okay, go on. All right, <clears throat> my dad's never coming back. <laughs> that's awful. We've single-handedly discovered the greatest thing that's ever existed. To for the father. for the record, everybody, I love my dad. We're fine. We're fine. I played the noise. It's for the bit. <laughs> I love my dad. Oh. <laughs> Frick you, I love my dad. Jesus Christ! I got some air time. <laughs> it put me back a bit, but that was cool. <laughs> yeah, Amy's about to... <coughs> I remember Amy's vehicle dying. from Jasper being like a little tiny car. Yeah, it's like a little tiny pullback car. Did the rainbow stop it? It did! Yes. It does, rainbow has a hitbox. I love nice. that. I did not. I clicked that, by the way. Thank, Thank you. you. The comedic relief be like. <laughs> what? What are the? What, are the <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was an accidental horn. Is it an actual horn? No, I pulled it up on my phone. Oh. I was gonna say, what? What other noises you got in there? Sounds good. Uh, anything, cause it's YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, I was gonna shoot a rocket backwards. I guess that's unnecessary. You already winning. Stop. All right, I won. I won my my second race. Now I'm tied. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. Oh crap! <laughs> Casino Park Roulette Road. Ooh, the best map in this game. I do like this course. <laughs> I also awesome. just like the casino ones a lot. Casino ones are fun. We were actually kind of talking about, um, like earlier, we were talking about like some games to like revisit soon, and they were brought up like, um, it, they are games I actually really want to touch upon with like co-commentary and whatnot. I, I have my 360 now plugged into everything. I'm going to keep plugged in because I'd like to uh, essentially do a Sonic 06 playthrough. But before I do that, I'm going to find a way to make sure everyone can hear the audio. Um, uh, and then Sonic Heroes is something I'd like to revisit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Heroes. Because I, I feel like we could have so many freaking good topics if everybody talked about the Sonic Heroes. 
Because, like, I love the game, but, like, you're playing the same stages over and over again with different characters. So it's good to get, like, other people in on it so, like, you can keep conversation flow and talk about different things. Because yeah. it's a little repetitive. I love the game, but... Now, now, okay, question. Sonic yeah. Heroes question. <laughs> Team Dog. Uh, no, Blasting no. your ears out big. No, that's, not, that's not what I was going to ask. Um... Are are we all? Can we all agree to get Team Chaotix out of the way right out the gate? <laughs> I mean, I can. Bro, oh, Team Chaotix is freaking missions are. Get good. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not bad at the missions. It's just annoying. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> you touch back and I'm going to snap. I didn't say anything, Trixie. I, I, I would have went Team Wait, Heroes. Why's why is that Trixie? She's got a thing for Vector. I thought we'd clarify this. Is that, she, is that I know. the Trixie, Trixie relative to Red Panda? Well, that was the Natsuki. What, because they wanted to get the freaking story out of the way? Yeah, I wanted to get the story over with. I mean, they are the weakest of the four, in my opinion. But they get to beat up Eggman. You're not wrong. That is the most the weakest thing that's intentionally by design, so I can't really complain. They also insult Eggman to his face without them actually knowing, and Eggman gets angry about it. Yeah. That is the only redeeming quality the, t the chaotic story has. They can shit talk Eggman. <laughs> and, they have, and they wouldn't know a thing about it. Holy frick. Uh -oh. I think we get good enough for this game, both the star and the rainbow could be useless. God, the rainbow. I love rainbows, but the power up in this game is just basically your, uh, was it, blooper? A, a lot of the power ups in this game are useless, like the bombs, the. The, the bombs can work, but. They just can not... work, but because of the physics engine, they just don't. Yeah. Star doesn't either. Shadow makes turns here so freaking good. Exactly, he's got that handling. Holy frick, they were close still. I was really trying. That's not really good. E. I just gotta not tank this next one. <laughs> uh, Carnival Town Sunshine Tour. Ah, this one's easy. Yeah, this one's not too bad. Crispy. Crispy. I also feel like Sonic Rivals is a good thing to co-commentate on, because once again, you're playing the same stories over and over again. And with Sonic Rivals 2, if you play, like, Sonic and Tails, you can actually play the story where it's Tails and Sonic and it's turned around. It's barely any different. Yeah. Although I I personally recommend just playing through... Um, all four stories and you pick your choice of who starts out. I've seen some people when they do live streams of Sonic Rivals uh, 1 and 2, they'll do a vote where it'll be like, you want it to be Team Sonic and Tails or Tails and Sonic and the people vote, which people are easily going to pick Tails and Sonic because nobody wants Sonic to be the first. You're all a bunch yeah. of chumps. I think everyone can guess which story I play. Oh yeah, right, Silver's in that game with Espio. No, Shadow of Metal Sonic. Nonsense. The entire plot of that game is everyone being a dick to each other while Shadow and Battle Sonic have an actual good moment between each other. Fair enough. I do like that <laughs> moment. Silver and Espio is an interesting take, although the spicy take is Knuckles and Rouge. <laughs> didn't didn't Shadow just beat the shit out of Metal Sonic and Rivals? No! In Rivals 2, they're buddies. Yeah. They're like best friends, and he like actually gets genuinely upset when Mouse Sonic has to kill himself to get a Chaos Emerald out of his optimum. <clears throat> Spoilers. For Spoilers, I haven't like played the game! Ten years, for a game that's over 10 years old, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> God, bitch. You didn't play Final <laughs> Fantasy VII? Let me tell you something. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't play Final Fantasy for the game? <laughs> the Famicom? Oh, straight up, though, I actually have not played Rivals, so I didn't know. Rivals 1 and 2, or...? I have not played any Rivals of the Rivals two. games. Also, for the record, Metal Sonic doesn't really die, per se. He just kind of fricks himself up because he had a Chaos Emerald inside him. Well, I mean... Metal Sonic never dies. That, well, that version of Metal Sonic Except does. in the OVA. 
You're a mother. I don't remember thing. like exactly what the explanation is, but he has a different conscious in him than the the rest of the times that he is Metal Sonic. And yeah, when he offs himself to get that emerald, he directly kills that conscious as well. Shadow, what are you doing? Like yeah, he does get rebuilt, but he's not as alive as he was. He's not as alive. Oh, okay, big. If I knew you were gonna frick yourself over, I would have kept that rocket. Rocket. Uh oh, Amy's rocket. got a punching bag. Release the demons. Oh, they both got punching bags. I gotta go. Release the hounds. Make them really corners, Shadow. Make them corners. There you go. Ooh, that was a slick move. Dude, why are they still back there? Frick off. That's character in the game. Yeah. Ah! I think Amy is about to. Okay. Hello, <laughs> I think Amy. I was about Welcome. to. Say. Yeah, she got close. I, th I was about to say, I think Amy is about to prove you wrong, hun. Nah, no, no. <laughs> I've got I've got half a second to make some kind of decision about oh god to make this work. I love how when you're done with the cup, they just kinda like slow everyone down. Yes you are, Trixie. You're cute. you're the red panda cutie patootie. I read that as like as like uh, it, I'm not a red panda Matthew question mark, I'm just like, huh? Huh? Oh. We've been we've been light to our entire lives. I mean, I guess if we're getting technical, she is yeah, technical. She's technical. technical. Yeah. I love like Shadow's little podium victory dance because he's like, and you, all of you, yes, fuck you, I win. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Oh. When Shadow smiles, though. Let's see. Next one. I ain't gonna lie. Shadow is playing pretty good. See? <laughs> Shadow is pretty good, though. Although. Knuckles is also pretty good if you want to do another Sonic character. I've not shown off. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've, not shown off. Off. I've not shown off Jiggy Rain. You gotta, you gotta show off your banjo license. Oh, heck yeah. We've been doing the Graffiti Cup. Uh, for anybody who looks up Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Graffiti Cup. Hello, hi, it's me, and it'll have banjo on the thumbnail, so this is fitting. <laughs> this is my uh, my favorite track. This is a good track. What happens if you just type in graffiti cup on YouTube? To you live from Tokyo You're probably gonna cut a graffiti, graffiti on it. Cup. This city course is it's not me. What's that about, Our internet? I even sorry. added graffiti to the text. <laughs> Hang on, I want to see if I was right. Some other guy's video. <laughs> I was, I was right. I'm a little further down on the list. Oh, you mean on YouTube? Before you just meant on Google, or was it all a mug? You can try. Oh, that's right. I can't win because I got to try out my. Uh... Oh, here we go. Yeah, you have to fail. You have to oh, heck yeah, that was my favorite game. Sega rename. Given I'm playing as Banjo and Kazooie. This makes my soul happy. Now give me Jiggy Rain. That's uh, Rockets. Nuke Tails. I love how, like, driving into a car in this one specific level screws you up more than getting hit by anything else in this entire game. God, and then it's not going to all start racing transformed. They have a set for, <laughs> Traffic uh, control. Yeah, they have the traffic <laughs> control where you have to dodge the vehicles. I've been wanting to get back to All Stars oh, Racing Transform. That was fun. We, yeah, we need to get Trixie. We need to finish it. Your mother. Whatever, Matthew's down front. I'm down. I'm down. <gasps> here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Yeah. Jiggy Raid, baby. Got my Mumbo on. Jiggy pieces are falling. Hit Sonic. At least run him over. All the jiggy pieces. It's on my tie, everyone. Look at my tie. Look at my tie. Slam, 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 slam. <laughs> <laughs> Holy frick, where are with my physics right now? I was just saying, you're about to slam face versus the world. Felt very weird. Uh, shut up. Up he goes. Holy frick, don't touch me. Hey, this is like the first time in human history I've seen the Eggman. Uh, NPC gets so far. You've seen the Eggman? Because normally he's like in the very back. Let 
maybe that also works. Who's the... Oh, I see. Yeah, Eggma. <laughs> I'm now just realizing. He'll touch me. Oh! Yep. Don't fail it. Do one, and then try two, and then try three. There we go. Ooh. Just by a pinch. Trying to get triple rockets now. Probably. Luckily for you, the AI doesn't know Correct. the laws of conservation and will just use all of them in one go. I gotta go. Get fricked. It hit him. I was gonna say, if he doesn't get hit by that, I'd be very surprised. I mean, there was a way to do it, but it being a uh, uh, CPU, I could see them hitting it. He won that by three seconds. Pretty good for expert mode. Pretty good for a character who's not on a bike. <laughs> Pretty good for somebody who's not Shadow the Hedgehog. Pretty good for somebody who isn't the ultimate life form. <laughs> and what are you supposed to be? Honey Bear. What do you like? Kazooie. <laughs> and what do what you, you like? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You mean you don't like Kazooie? Then I don't even care. Banjo. <laughs> you had cup noodles. Was today cup mean? noodle day? I had ramen for lunch. I had tuna pasta again, because uh, I'm being cheap. <laughs> The tuna pasta I, I have pizza rolls. No, that sounds great. Right. No wonder somebody came in my chat earlier saying, I've come for the pizza rolls. I didn't have them on hand. They were told that somebody had, that pizza rolls were here. I don't know how. I didn't tell anybody I was making pizza rolls. Oh, I'm just connecting it. I'm just being funny. It just, it just knew. It just kind of happened. It just so happens. I saw that game. I saw that screen tearing. The PC version of this game has terrible screen tearing. It's not meant to be. It was not meant to be run at this uh, frame rate. Probably not. Get fricked. Amy's gone all star. She's gonna shape your cat. <clears throat> That's that's about like as far as I got listening to my theme song, just that one line and I was just like, yeah, you know what, I'm I'm kinda of done with this. <laughs> Holy ba, frick, Amy! Ba, ba, oh there she goes. Holy frick. Ba, 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 ba. A lot of people say they don't like her song because it's creepy, but like I love her song. I, I don't like it like because it's creepy, I don't really care much for that. It just sounds awful. You know that one kind from Don't what is it? Get a banjo. Is it Donald Trump scared? Yeah. The one with the, the puppets and... Yeah. You know, like, they're a TV show. Yeah, just that one gift, like, that ears bleeding. Oh, God. It's me with the song. It's not even that bad. Yes, it is. It's not. Really Sonic not Adventure's a masterpiece. Ow. Says the one who would defend Sonic Drift. Yeah! And every Sonic game, Fucking because I think every God, Sonic game is good. It's not! It's not! Sonic Drift sucks. Sonic Drift is awful! Oh, well, this sounds like a skill issue from you. No! I got good at the game, yeah. and I played it, and I really? beat it! Yes! Yes, it's not I good. beat it! I beat it, and hated it! I have played both, and got good at both. I don't- I, and I respect the Game Gear, and I'm even a guy who likes Sonic Blast. I don't like Sonic Drift. Literally, okay. I- I- I, really I, good, right? I- I played- I played Sonic Drift three times, all the way through. All the way through to give it the benefit of the doubt. No, it's fucking terrible. Okay, it's right. Garbage. Let me let me explain this to you, right? No, if somebody you don't walks have to up to me. It. No, no. If somebody to, walks up to, to me, shit. if somebody walks up to me, eats a burger once and says I don't like it, I believe them. If somebody orders the same burger twice, eats it all the way through and says I don't like it, <laughs> I'm kind of doubtful. But if somebody orders a burger the third time, eats it all the way through, it still doesn't like it. I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> no, the, the I. I hated I I hated it the first time. I was in I literally only played it the second time because my cousin 
like Sonic games, and uh, her uh, and her uh, mother says she's only allowed to play racing games. So I cringed and pulled out and whipped out Sonic Drift. Um, and the third time I played it, I literally wanted to murder the entire human race for making this piece of garbage. You could have played literally anything else. Uh, she said she would not want to play any other racing game. I put Sonic Drift off to the side because I didn't want anything to do with it. She's like, she's like, boo hedgehog, boo hedgehog. And I'm like, I, okay, I can't deny that face. Trixie says, very poor taste, Looter. You obviously eat not food, not Sonic games. What do you mean? I eat my Sonic curry, do you? You Your Sonic yeah, curry? Yeah, You have the worst takes in the world. Well, I'm sorry, I have a fat ass and correct opinions. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. Yeah. Wait, have you, have you looked at my ass? I need the looter, I, I need the one meme for looter where it's like, why are they making fun of me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I literally, I literally... I, I, I literally I, have seen your ass, it is not. No. I, I have lost. I normally. Why are we having this conversation? <laughs> because I lost respect for the youngest member of our team. Everyone has. has it doesn't matter. You have. I have. You have zero brownie points and zero What if I have to lose? If I have nothing left to lose, that's okay. You have zero. You now have zero credibility because of this. Hey Matthew, game. what's your favorite Sonic racing game? Also, racing fans. Good lad. Respect. Good lad. Good lad, good lad, good game, good game. Yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> what? Yeah, I won, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's passable. Yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, here's a better question for you then. Would you rather play Sonic Drift 1 and or 2, or Sonic Spinball for the game year? Genga. Uh... Spinball, hands down. I'd rather, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather torment myself with spinball than play, <laughs> and then then play drift. Trixie said think, no spinball ever. Personally, I think spinball's better than drift one, but I think drift two is better than spinball. So, so my a little bit of a fun fact, and this is an opinion I don't hear too often, but I have heard the opinion. Some people state that Spinball on Game Gear is, by a small technicality, better than the original on Genesis. No. It's just because it's built I different. I played it a few days ago. I consider it worse. You consider exactly. it worse? It doesn't yeah. have, it doesn't I can see have, why like, somebody would come from... I, I can see why somebody would come from that perspective, though, but, yeah, it's, it's more primitive. Yeah. And I will say, the when I played it a few days ago, that wasn't my first time playing it, either. I, that, it right. Just, I did play it recently. Right. It doesn't have the, the good option menu music. <laughs> down, 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 down. <laughs> God. Oh, you know what I heard? I saw one of the people who work on the Sonic Frontiers music uploaded a Twitter video today, and it showed, like, the Sonic vinyl record playing. I'm like, oh, Sonic Frontiers has a vinyl record? Like, my brain didn't, like... Yeah, it, it, was, does. It, was, it was waking up, and I went, oh, wait, it did have a vinyl record, and I passed up on it because it shipped from Europe, and it was expensive as frick. I'm ticked because I want it. That's why you should be able to have. <laughs> I'm gonna move all the way over there just to get the vinyl record. It'll yeah. save me all the money. Moves there, stays there for a month, gets vinyl record, moves back. It only cost it a couple thousand dollars. I mean, it's the same logic as me wanting to chop my balls off. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't need to know that. <laughs> I didn't either. Go over there, stay there for a month. Don't touch me! Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I'm now tempted to play uh, All Stars Ransom Transform. Who would like to join me? I will in a bit. I, I, and I only say that because that's literally the only one I have. I, I don't think this uh, is on Steam. This is on Steam, it just doesn't have online. Yeah, the online's totally correct. You'd have to uh, parsec that. Yeah. Which we uh, want to do someday, but it's still kind of, you know. I would. If my internet wasn't crap enough. Um. I was gonna. Oh, yeah, that's uh, That's something I else, right? Hello. Oh, whoa. So, uh, apparently, there's gonna be an unofficial fan convention over here. I heard about that. Wait, is it the Sonic yeah. Revolution or something? 
Uh, I think it's called like the Sonic Fan Festival. Oh, okay. I know Sonic Revolution said they were coming back to Europe again or something like that. Which yeah, they've done that for be, years. Uh, it's gonna be in Bristol, and I'm very excited because I want to go. Ooh, is that possible for you then? Yeah, it's in this country. Well, yeah, but I, that's like me saying like your mom. <laughs> it's, it's what? <laughs> I didn't have anything. Uh, no, I was gonna say like that's like that's like, like me saying there's a convention I want to go to in Arizona. Does that mean I'm gonna go to Arizona? Uh, Depends on yeah. what it is. Uh, but think... yes, Sister Rose, Banjo and Kazooie is in this game. Yes. Why? Okay. I don't fucking know. Apparently, I think it's believe it or not, I want to say it's Rareware that reached out to Sega and said, "Hey, can we put your our character in your game?" And Sega was like, "Sure." Sega's it, a lot more chill about collaboration. About yeah, because they, they saw it as like they can cross promote each other. Because Nets and Bolts had just came out, and I was like, yeah, not a bad idea. So yeah, they went through with it. Freaking, and then there's you know Nintendo over here. Yeah. True. Uh, you gotta pay us this much, this much in advancement fees, and blah 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 to use our characters in your game. Dude, I'm dead. Oh wait, no, I can buy it. Yeah, I mean, given what do you Nintendo mean, wasn't strict about that in the 90s and everyone and their brothers screwed over their IPs, I kind of see why. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, I mean, understandable, yes. If someone were to, time. like, if I gave my character rights to someone and they completely butchered it and screwed me over in every way, yeah, I wouldn't want anyone else to touch my character without them proving they can do it. Okay, that that is a respectable reason. However, come Should apply. I buy this? Yes. It's, it's called what you need. <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> this it's is what, what I you need. need. What you need. Uh, how, however, but, however, come a butt. However, come a butt. Oh, that's a good song. Oh, my, 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 my main, my main issue. Super Sonic Racing. My main issue with it is, um, like, even though, even with companies that have not touched any of Seg, any of Nintendo's IPs. I.e. Square, you know how do you know how long it took them just to get like let them release uh, recoded on the DS, just to no. get it off of a mobile port. I ain't gonna it lie, took, it took them what 15 years or something to get the okay just to put Sora in Smash, and even longer to put Cloud in there. And Cloud's more popular than Sora. True. Um, they got the spooky pumpkin outfit. I, I, I was just gonna say when I saw the kid, you feel the sunshine. I think I did the rock uh, stair pose in real life, where he did the eyebrow yeah, you, thing. You did. I literally I, went I, that I, way and I went. Hmm? Yeah, I, I saw your character move and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, like I kind of want that. You, you rock it over there. I'm getting it. Say less. Now will it play? Can you feel the sunshine? Mm, we haven't played his knuckles yet. Yeah. How 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 do you get to pick the music if you do single character? That's what I'm wondering. Character? You get to pick the character. Settings. You get to pick the music anyway. It happens so, at the very start of the race. You know, yeah, there's like a cross yeah. by. Correct. Yeah, you get to pick the music there. Yeah. Who? I think uh, Super Sonic Racing is for the bingo stages. Frick. It belongs here. Well, this one has Can You Feel the Sunshine? Oh, I paid for Super Sonic Racing, didn't I? No, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're right, we're right. Guess what I have. My brain started going the other way. Don't worry, you got candy, feel the sunshine. We got what we want. Here we go. Get him, Knuckles. Okay, I'm lit I have to unmute the Twitch stream to hear the music. Can you feel my back spotting? Oh! I thought you were about to say your backside. I'm like, why are we touching your butt? <laughs> but what are you, Sora? No, I'm not Sora. That's why I'm concerned. Oh. Angel, not Sora. Hang on. I am not Sora, no. I'm gonna consume chocolate egg now. Egg. Lucky. See you if I can do any kind of air. Shit out of BD Joe. Worth oh, a God. shot. I was trying to see if I could get a uh, bit of a jumpy. 
You know, the man oh. flipping deserve it. You know how many flipping uh, road laws that man broke? All to make people happy, Matthew. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, technically, um, during that time period when taxis, you know, were common and not shitty Ubers, uh... I was uh, gonna say, you cannot, you cannot logically I mean, explain to me how a, tra how a taxi is somehow allowed to perform stunt jumps in the middle of a busy road. Yeah. Honestly, I, I <laughs> okay. think Ubers are a little more crappier than a taxi. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you, I mean, you can't do stunt jumps in a taxi. However, the, uh, the, the rule of a taxi is you have to listen to your customer no matter what. Regardless if it means breaking a, lo a speed traffic law or two. Unfortunately, and that's how it was back then. I've had, a, I've done an Uber on my own once and with some peeps a couple times. It's weird. I have been in an Uber once, and I don't think I ever want to do it again. It's definitely my last case resort. Like, I have the app on my phone, just the option. It's like, okay, I need that, but, like, I really don't want to. Yeah. My the, main, the only reason why I even remotely would consider using Uber is, <sighs> is um, mm -hmm. because, like, every year, because ever since my 21st birthday, my family gives me, like... A family member or a friend of a family gives me like fifty bucks in Uber cash because yeah. I'm an I'm an adult. I go do adult activities. I can I go out drinking. I bet you do. I I go out drinking with friends. <laughs> my, I ain't gonna lie, my brain went somewhere else. It's so divided. That's why I made the comment. Uh, the one time I try to not make a D-Gen joke, everyone takes it as a fucking <laughs> That's because it's you. Why did you send me back to the freaking shop? Uh. Don't know what. I've never seen that before. Oh, because when you finish the race, you press go to shopping. Oh, right. I forgot that was an option. My bad. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, well, I, I go out drinking with friends. Um... Uh, so that every every so often they'll give me like 50 50 bucks uber cash so that way uh if i ever am too fricked up to go home on my own i can call an uber and pick up the pick up whatever vehicle i was driving the next morning making a bracelet for my little bro oh that's sweet oh that's cute that's very sweet of you honey pinball highway Come i on, thought it was well. I thought it was uh, I thought it was in Casino Night. I, I think it was it's like... in any of the casino levels. Yeah. Hmm. I'll use the Russian again. All right, okay. at the chain shot. All right, I'm I'm booting up uh, super, uh, Sonic Racing Transformed. Cool. Listen, it was either that or Persona, and I don't want to. Have I don't want chat hearing about me bitching at Persona characters. <laughs> Same, honestly. Me too. Would you like to race, Matthew? I'm controlling chocolate egg. When you're done consuming chocolate egg. No, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you can just say no, I'll understand. Because it's stuck in my throat! Oh no! Or you can choke on an egg, that also works. <laughs> choke on your oh, egg. Sega. Sonic says hidden item capsule to win an item. Nice. Sonic says you should rob an orphanage. <coughs> what are they gonna do? Tell their parents. Sonic says go rob a bank. What are they okay. gonna do? Fight you about it? <laughs> His birthday is the twenty first. Happy early birthday to him. Yeah. The idea of big driving a fucking motorcycle is disturbing. But supersonic the racing. Thing ever. I have it with supersonic racing because I think that's funny. Actually, I kind of want to suck on purpose just to uh, get big froggy. 
I fully endorse big driving a motorcycle. Opa, Opa here taking the sweet time. <laughs> Give me the big froggy. You crashing into walls also works. This egg is so rich. All rich egg. Uh -huh. mm, egg. The way the uh, the way the game calculates whether or not you should get your all star in this game is that um it works on like a point system and every time you crash uh you get points every time you get that uh, yeah have to get like set forwards by the game it gives you points getting hit gives you points crushing into so that's how that works. Walls give you points, and staying in the back sort of auto builds points. And the higher points you have, the more of a percentage chance that your next item is going to be. Uh, where I want to drive. An oh, but oh, oh, you suck. Obviously, the higher you get, the more. Um, you lose points. I'll play Amigo in this race. Literally, because it's Amigo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Move, Opa, oh, Opa, oh, oh, move. No. What is my move? man's just running right now? Yeah, he's got his feet. It's one of the reasons I love playing uh, B. Oh, right, he's... the trigger is to drive on this one. His all-star is literally just drive down. He's like, to skate down the track, and it's funny watching him on his skates outrun every single car. Will I get it now? Probably. Thank you. I gotta remember the controls. Oh, we're in the skies of Arcadia. We'll go right oh, here. Get him. There we go. That's a fun one. I'm in first. Yeah, you went from last to first. Okay, that's my drift button. Look at him go, he's having a time. That's one of my issues with TSR, they get rid of the Eagle Star moves. Yeah. Triple boost! Yeah, I'm happy I'd be watching a Super Soul War again. Oh, that would've been cool, though. Although, knowing that game, they probably wouldn't have went the uh, Super Route, because I know in All-Stars Racing Transform, they got rid of yeah. Super Sonic and Super Shadow. Still, though, like... Wouldn't it, it, like, it would have been so cool, like, Super Sonic, and Silver. They have a Burning Blaze as well. Yeah, that would have been cool. Holy frick. Dude, what is the hitbox there? Yeah. I, I, I think, like, the only reason why they didn't, obviously, besides the whole Team Ultimate mechanic, is they were kind of like, okay, now how do how do we make a relevant all star for fucking Chow? Ba -ba 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 -ba, you give him a bunch of guns. <laughs> yeah, give, give Over Chow a Glock. Exactly. That's, that's the all star, like, it just becomes Over Chow flying down the track. Oh. You got the Omo Chow gun! <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the Omo Chow gun. The gun got the Omachow. You shoot Omachow out of the Omachow gun. You got a tombstone. You got, you got, you got a spinal injury from carrying too much junk. You got Chaboo. That's just work. Finish the first lap in the last position and go to win a race. Yeah. Of course I would never get that. <laughs> Unless I do it on purpose. Go shopping. The loops. The loops? The loops. My, my dumb freck forgot how to do tricks in this game. Oh. Yeah? Let's see. Mm, sure. Bingo party. Bingo party. He says it so sincere like. Every other one, it's like, Casino Park, Bingo Party, Shibuya Downtown, Bingo party. <laughs> Seaside Hill, Bingo Party, Thunder Deck. Bingo party. Let's play back-to-back. -back. 
Alright, yeah, I lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Banjo. Come here. I just want to, <laughs> You're freaking just... frog. Get out of here, Ryu. <laughs> I just want to say hi. Daze him. Daze him. I just want. I just want to say hi. I just want to say hi. I just want to say hi. Come here. Pull over. That's all you're doing the whole race, just harassing poor man. <laughs> pizza bagel, pizza Harassing pizza, Banjo Nakazooie. Stop, Banjo. Stop. Stop him. Get out of here, Metal. Come back, Banjo. I want to talk to you about your cars. It's only warranted. Wait, they're all starred? Wait, we can watch this from a distance. Let him go. I'll catch up. I got the camera. <laughs> Get the camera man with flash. Bring the jiggies down. There they are. Get out of your Sonic. <laughs> Where'd Sonic go? Gone. All you can see is the rainbow. I think I've somehow boosted Banjo and Kazooie to the lead. Oh, nope, there they go crapping again. Better luck next Not time. Not on the road. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't watching where I was going. Oh. Shoot, trick. Big just went, hey, you can't do that. You're lucky they brought you back in the race, Big. Because of that, now... Banjo's all the way back in sixth, and Knuckles, like, Jesus Christ, is so far behind. Get him! F, shoot him! I wonder where he is on the get track. Get Sonic! Like, yes, now get Banjo! You missed Banjo. My fantasies will never be reached. I'm going to freaking die! <laughs> what was that game? Oh my God. I got it's... it back! Based on story reasons, that is froggy infused of chaos. Yeah, yeah you're not wrong. I love how they gave me my all-star back because I technically fell out of bounds. Yeah, and like as it was finishing. As yeah, well. what what an incredible comeback! Unfortunately, Shadow the Hedgehog here. Yeah, with freaking bumpers like that, I'm screwed. Oh, 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 oh! Yay! Hey. You got hit by like falling chips at the last second. Yeah. Oh, I was to see how far my knuckles was. Damn it. My bad. Hey. Hey. How convenient. The top three are all on bikes. <laughs> it just so happens. And this only exacerbates my point. There's no reason. Ba -ba. All right. Um. Nah. Yeah, I lost. I think I lose this one. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's the avatar oh, like? Yeah. Uh, I don't have my proper avatar though. <sighs> like it's me, but it's not really me. It'd be funny. God. Make this the last one, I think. Let's see. Let's get it. I've had my day's course of this game. <laughs> Samba! Mimate! Oh my god. I don't even have glasses or anything. <laughs> I kind of want to get the uh, All Star. It's me, Banjo. Come here, you. Why did you jump so high? Why did Banjo jump so high? Because we have a different energy, Lunar. Because <laughs> we're platformers. You don't understand. Come here. Come here. 
<laughs> Wait, you're a fake the fraud. <laughs> I say this turn off. Screw Banjo. I genuinely forgot how to do tricks in this game. Use the uh, the left stick. No, the right stick even higher. No banjo. You're not allowed to go anywhere. No. Wait. I'm sorry. I got him. It's playing the avatar music. Yeah. It's so cursed. This game just remixes the fucking avatar menu music. <laughs> <laughs> Did you die? Yeah. How so? You see... You ever, you ever been hit in the stomach with a swing? Ow, my body. Ow, my gut. No. There was actually a time I did get hit in the stomach with a swing and I couldn't open my eyes and when I eventually opened my eyes everything was blue. <laughs> oh, shoot. You gotta restore your factory settings. I think I've got my Sonic shoes on in this car. <laughs> I'm dead. So that just a Sonic activated the whole one. <laughs> I also oh. think the mod this game so the horn sound of like just laughing just going, Oh, Banjo and Kazooie are doing the jiggy rain. I'm okay with this. I got both of them. Oh my god, wait, am I? Oh! Hit me. Hit me with it more, Banjo. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Bum, bum, ba. I can't remember how to do tricks. <laughs> It's on the right stick, I said, so... Silly, right that's stick, the thank you. For kids. Yeah. In this game, it's actually, uh, pretty much the drift button. Yeah, it is the drift button. That's because in this game, it's, like, preset animations, whereas in Racing Transformers, it's a roll. Whoa. Aw, oh, so I forget to lift me off the ground. Let's see if I have my Sonic shoes. I think it's Sonic shoes. He's out of the light and kind of screwed it. He was so far ahead of everyone else. Opa Opa's trying desperately to catch up. Big's going all star. There he goes. It's too late, Big. I'm already fast. Yo, know, honestly, the Avatar uh, character works pretty well. They're very all around. Which makes yeah. sense. It's you, so you gotta be an all around fella. You gotta be an all around fucking gamer. I even got my blue wristband, my fingerless gloves. So what kind of Xbox 360 uh, game must I be? Here we go. Nice. So anyway. So anyways. However. <laughs> so however, but fly. <laughs> And there we go, Sonic and Sega all stars racing. Oh, no. da, 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 da. We go to missions. You can see that I've triple A ranked everything Pepsi on the last man. stream. Well, that was a waste of my all star. Wait. Last stream? 
Uh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, this is technically a sequel to my original stream. What was that? Uh, 2021. Oh, okay. Nice. I was like, did you yeah. stream this without me? How could you? It's the long-awaited sequel. It's my return to oh, returning. That's what I realized. Oh, wait. I last streamed this June 4th, 2021. I don't even know who you were. I did. Let me see a thing here. <sighs> I'm curious. curious. Yeah, so, if that says anything, the last time I played Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing... Me and Matthew clapped for the first time three weeks prior. That should say how long ago the last time I played this was. Yeah. And just because it's funny. I hope I can like sign out of my Xbox Live and show you my other avatar. I have to I have to show my origin. That's fair. Can we can we see what uh, the Xbox Live game style you are? Let me, let me sign out, and then, uh, I think it's... Sign in. Sign in. I hope I don't have to reset the system. They're probably not gonna like me. I mean, it kinda signed me in. I'm not doing that old stream. I want to reset the Xbox. Turn off console. Because I think when you boot it up, it'll, like, show the avatars. There we go. I think so. It'll at least give you the avatar. I I found it hard to sign in earlier. This should be made a new one. Ah, oh, my childhood. Ah, uh, yes, the 360 intro, or well, the second intro. Ba, ba, there they are. Ba. There they are. It's the the famous <laughs> shirt with Sonic shoes. Yeah, image. Nice. Respect, respect. That's where I got my Sonic shirt design from. Let me put the thing on screen. Yes, yeah, the Nightwing uh, Arkham shirt. Yeah. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Alright, time to wrap up. Ooh, the ending page. Hi, caramba! All right. This Thank you all very much for watching today. Uh, tomorrow, I should be back with Super Mario Odyssey, I believe. Yes. And yeah, other than that, thank you all very much for watching. Let's go ahead and get a raid underway. You guys will get some pop points. Let's see. I'm going to go with... I'm not actually... Raid? I don't think I have, but if I haven't, or if I have, I may have only done it once. But we're going to raid Flame Crystal. They are currently playing Metroid Prime Remastered. Which is a game I wish to tackle someday, so that'll be fun. Everybody send some love, say Zach and Sonic Raid, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Oh, that's what's that? What do they call the oven when you offer Nazi to the cold food? They call me Knuckles. Now I'm like Sonic, I don't chuckle. Okay, couple of them are